streaming game this week. Uh, give me just a second here. We are loading in to the video call and uh, rejoining with the party. There's kind of an order of events here and we got to get the stream up and then we can hit the video call otherwise the thing crashes on us. Your mother. All right. Oh guys, my god, yeah, the storyline with the family. Mm -hmm. Fuck me. Mm -hmm. that was good. All right. I love to. Uh, we are on the stream, so we have on with us uh, Stephen, Juliet, uh, who is on the background still. Uh, so Alric is on in the background on audio, and uh, Young Gil is on as well. Uh, Tabby is on her way, so we are going to be starting our evening off with some uh, recaps from where we're at. For those of you who might not be following close attention, this is the season finale for this grand story arc. We are looking at a rift and a big crazy monster guarding it, and we have a party that is full of bravery and shenanigans ready to take this thing on. Um, so we will recap for you where our last adventure uh, left off and uh, we will go from there and um, hey uh, if I could ask uh, Steven if you could watch the discord if Tabby says anything because I have too many things up um, you got it boss but uh, that'd be awesome all right so bring us in there please but, uh, that'd be awesome all right so bring us in there please all right shall we do the recap yeah so uh, we have currently been on a mission to close a rift uh, between our reality um, and another through which fey beasties have been pouring in. Uh, we are currently diving. Oh, hi, Tabby. We're doing the recap. Yay. You're just in time. Uh, awesome. we, are, we are currently in the midst of diving deep down Finally. into a subterranean cavern uh, to confront the rift in reality that is the source of these creatures. Um, we have discovered there are some lava bugs. We fought some lava bugs. Uh, we then encountered the mother of the lava bugs, a giant spider creature um, in a huge cavern full of eggs, which we had to uh, traverse. She, while we were traversing the cavern, uh, the mother spider pulled the side weasel, my character, um, for a weird dream sequence, maybe? Um, in which my character was handed a shard of order, which maybe will help us close the portal. Um, and so now we are standing before the portal and its guardian. Uh, we are making some decisions about how we are going to face it down. Um, and we are looking forward to a big battle. Yeah. And the spider also knows your true identity. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, the spider, the spider told me that I don't know who my real mom is, which I don't know. Mm. I don't know who my real mom is in this game. Um, she we'll called you. She called you a little eternal one. A little eternal one. Yes, I have that in my notes. Mm. Um, Spoiler so alert. She's secrets. a Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> Weasel Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the runt of the Skywalker litter. <laughs> <laughs> She's got like a two-inch lightsaber. It's like a light dagger. Um. Yeah. So that's where we are. Okay. That's some secrets about Weasel that are going to come out. Mm. And Tabby, are you back? I think she might have had problems connecting because I don't see you. Yeah, she was on and then she left. And we'll, we'll, we'll keep filling time a little bit while she's here. So you guys did um, some healing uh, over the, not downtime, but just administrative time in between sessions. Yeah. So you're in the tunnel. Um, uh, Ryman, how fucked are you? Um, I do not know, but let me just check my character sheet. Delicately putting it. Theme to Beyond says you have 11 hit points. I have 11 hit points. Oh. Do you want my healing my potion? Brother. So, like, F with no lube is, is Yeah. Great. Yeah, uh, Weasel so hands Ryan in a healing potion. I need some healing. Yes, I do. <laughs> take, take the potion. You just love creating t-shirt moments, don't you? All right, let's take, the take the potion. It is a regular potion of healing. And 2d4 plus 2 hit points. Please four. potion yourself. Potion myself. Okay. Goodbye, healing potion. And Tabby hey, rejoined us. Hands rhyme in a healing potion. Yes, she is here. All awesome. right, so seven. Can you hear us, Tabby? Wonderful. Yep, I can hear you. Can you hear me? 
Yes. Yep. Cool. I had all the tech issues, but I think we're stable. So we'll see. I don't know why my Wi-Fi that's worked every other time suddenly dies. Well, you know, you you you've only you know you only spent about a minute troubleshooting. So minute for minute, you've been, you've been have much more success than we have because we've been at this for like thirty minutes and we finally got it straight. So. Um, <coughs> Oop, I got one more video coming on. It's Alric! 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 Hey, man. All right, hang on. If you're getting on video, I We're to all change. together to die together. This is awesome. And we'll change our lower <laughs> thirds there, sir, if you're going to be on with us. Please hold. Because, you know, the DM was alluding to we're all going to reincarnate as bunnies. Hmm. That sounds wonderful. As long as I can be Peter Rabbit. Or turtles. Yeah. We can be a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There. Okay. I Mikey the called it. Hey, are good. Can we play the D and D extension? That's Redwall, where you're all mice and weasels and, and stoats and shit. That's cool. <laughs> Isn't it bunnies and burrows? Yeah. But something I'm like get that. The headphones. Oh. Or we could just bring back uh, Honey Heist. Yeah. I do love so Honey we're, Heist. We're definitely gonna play a one shot or two of some random system in between uh, seasons. So we're thinking Honey Heist. We're thinking My Little Pony. Uh, we're thinking. My for pony, pony heist. Yeah. We could, pony heist. <laughs> pony. We can. Uh, pony heist. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ponies know. with questionable morals that don't belong in the My Little Pony universe, trying to steal <laughs> things from My Little Pony. Why That's not? That's not family friendly. <laughs> no. Nice. We'll, we'll do the TV mature version of uh, My Little My Little Pony. Dear um, God. All right. The so, HBO version. Oh well, well that's that's you know <laughs> that's, that's a whole the, other level. Of, uh, that's uh, behind the paywall. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a lot of blood, blood and boobs in that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, straight Horses up. Horses have like six of those, right? I mean, <laughs> that's straight up Game of Ponies right there. <laughs> so we're we're square. Someone's on... written that fan fiction. I'm sure oh, they yeah. have. Oh yeah. So yeah. We're, we're all square on heels, right? We've used all yes. of our healing potions that we're going to yep. use. Uh, we have one little. Oh, uh, I, I use my pearl of power to get my spell back. Okay, sounds good. That too. So you have kind of peered into the room, and I guess the the um. Also, separate question: We're we were talking offline. Your guys' decision was to uh, go ahead and not run off and take a short rest and risk coming back when there's more more dudes. Right? You're going to go for it. Sure. Okay. Going to do it. Awesome. So uh, I will kind of set the scene again. You are at the end of a, an arduous uh, trek into the mountain. Uh, you're freaking exhausted. There's been fire bugs, and you've been traveling in the heat, like 110, 115 plus underground heat for over a day. You just you're irritated, and you've been trudging along. Um, the adrenaline of seeing this this crazy looking beast in this cavern has kind of woken you up uh the area you see in front of you if you remember is a we we kind of discerned is a temple to the very very old gods the primordials what you see in front of you is kind of an old um kind of forgotten kind of holy place uh it's made out of beautiful stone that's kind of been ruined there's a magma river that's flowing through the middle of it with kind of some islands of kind of travelable large stones in the middle. Uh, this beast is on the far end, and you saw the the, the leader of the uh, kind of fey armies chastising this large beast and then stepping into the portal himself. You saw the um, uh, uh, one of the kind of regiments of red caps kind of running off and, and going into the far tunnel to your left. And uh, you did see some kind of rubble near that tunnel. Um, so, you know, it might be sealable if that's something you're interested in. Um, but, you know, you're, you're feeling the adrenaline kind of pumping in your veins. You're, you're, you're looking at each other. You're, you're taking healing potions as, you, as you're getting ready. Um, and uh, Vertala, we kind of zoom in on your character as you're, um, you know, you're, 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 you're trying to calm your nerves. This, this thing is huge. You look in the room and you feel both... Um, excited, you feel like you're you're doing the right thing, but you just it's it's scary. This thing is mastodon sized. It's a very large creature, um, and it just seems like you're not sure if this group has what it what it takes. And so as you're you're kind of channeling the divine energy from your god, um, you 
are are kind of bandaging up wounds and and channeling this divine energy into your party members when you feel the kind of the last bit of it that you're pouring out go out from out of you the the ambient light from the cave system it just kind of vanishes and you see yourself um, in the darkness you're not even seeing yourself you just kind of see blackness and you hear footsteps you hear what seems to be your own footsteps on a gravel road you hear crunch 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 um, and those who don't know kind of um, Ritala is from the religion of the road followers um, they're all about following the straight and narrow road um, and she's rebelled from her parents um, in, in a in a attempt to not follow their the matron's expectations of her to, but to kind of be righteous and follow the road in her own calling and um you're hearing these footsteps. You're feeling yourself moving forward, but you, you just don't know where you are. Um, and you start hearing a rhythmic kind of clanging. Uh, this clanging, you've only heard it twice in your life. Uh, it's starting to sound familiar. You heard it once in your ascension ceremony to become a, an officially recognized paladin of the faith. And you heard it once at your uh, grandfather. Um, his name was Silverbeard uh, his, at, his, at his funeral. He was a great warrior. And uh, there is a, a, a chanting that you're starting to hear. So, by the way, this week, guys, I have pulled out all the stops. <laughs> I am doing stuff as a DM that I've never freaking done before. I wrote a song <laughs> for this. Like this that? is what you're hearing. All right, so <clears throat> the dwarves are chanting in this deep, guttural kind of... Um, very solemn tune and you hear mm, mm, and they're clanking their weapons on the floor doosh doosh into the unknown sure of stride i go the earth beneath my feet, narrow and bleak. Dush. The path will set me free. A warrior's life take me. The road shall lift my soul. It's light and truth in me Doosh. the road shall lift my soul and as these chants are happening you're seeing these faces kind of appearing next to you as the caverns coming back the road shall lift my soul the road shall lift my soul you see your grandfather and you see your ancestors next to you and at the end of this chant, they kind of like, they slam their weapons down and they're looking at the room, kind of like ready to engage with you. And um, you are super empowered uh, by kind of this ancestral um, blessing that you're feeling. So uh, mechanically, every, uh, every action you do in this next kind of engagement, you will have a free smite. So you're smiting on every single attack. Yes. By the way, that was freaking awesome. Arnie. Oh, oh my sound Arnie. is off. If you guys were reacting, I heard nothing. I still can't hear you. Hold on. Maybe that was maybe that was uh, Fate's way of keeping the nerves down. I couldn't hear you guys at all. At all. All right, hang on. Oh, jeez. Can you say something? I got nothing. Hold on. Oh Big my. Bertala! <laughs> Big Bertala! It's another dwarf! I'm here to chug that. I got it. Definitely okay. ready to hear us. I can hear yeah. you. Things yeah. happened while you couldn't hear us, but that was awesome! Yeah. That was so that was good. Strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, like, you literally had me back at that scene from The Hobbit where they're singing the song at the table. Like, yeah. that's where I was, man. That was awesome. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. That was some King Killer Chronicles shit right there. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Uh, I was super nervous about doing it live. I have a recorded version that I made awesome. last night, and I was like, no, screw it. I'm Done just it. going for it. So, no, uh, that was uh, awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks. Tabby got a potion. Yes. What? I, I was so just I, I have a potion. A, oh, I, after I all have that. A potion okay. of giant growth. Right? Oh, nice. Oh, in addition. So, yeah, nice. Okay. In yeah, addition, yeah. thematically, I mean, now she's a glowing giant dwarf. Yeah. Behind her. Awesome. Woo-hoo. And so um, I, don't, I don't know that anybody else can see it, but you can definitely see kind of like these blue spectral dwarves at your side. You know, you're kind of this small regiment at this may, point. May I make a request? Mm. I think for this episode. As soon as battle starts, we need that recording of that song you made just loosely playing in the background as our battle <laughs> just, music. Just looping. <laughs> just, just looping. I spent way too much time now? trying to figure out right. like okay. how to bring in like I was trying to like take the audio I made and like bring in like sounds of like stomping in the back and it just that was like it two was hours of my life that I it yeah, was great. It was awesome. It was awesome. Alright, awesome. Um Good. Bertala, are you giant? Oh yeah. Giant with my blue glowing army, whether you guys can see them or not. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh my you're, god, um, I can totally see them. You're, <laughs> you're in a really small corridor, so why don't we just thematically like you chug it when you walk in because you'll That sounds good. That sounds good. <laughs> good. Um can we so while we're sort of walking into this corridor, mm. um Weasel is hanging back a little bit and she reaches out and grabs Wang's robes to mm. like pull him towards her. Okay. So can we see that like they like are hanging back a minute and like having yeah, a minute? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So she pulls out, she she shoves the shard of order into her pocket and she pulls it out and sort of like hiding it from everybody else, shows it to Wang Tu and just kind of looks at him. Oh, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Wang kind of just You goes, cannot see this. This is why I'm doing it in secret. <laughs> Wang, Wang just kind of goes wide eyed and he's like, where did you get that? The spider gave it to me. Which I know sounds weird. That thing hasn't <laughs> even moved off the ceiling. Well, yes. Okay. So, um, um, while we were, you know, riding across, it, it kind of, I don't, I don't really know what happened, but I went away from you guys and it came down in front of me and it, it gave me this and it told me that you would understand it, that, that the child of Rizaga would understand. So do you understand? Like pleading, like, please understand. She knew me? She said the child of Rizaga. Uh, Wang kind of reaches out and grabs the stone. Does anything happen? Um, give me a wisdom check. Okay, first roll of the night. Don't fail me now. <laughs> so that is sixteen. Um, the moment you grab it. It's it's almost um, incorporeal. Like your physical eyes didn't see it, but just for a moment, you see a flash of your key kind of dancing with the energy of this stone, infusing a little bit. And um, with a sixteen, you realize that um, there have been times in your life where um, you didn't know why, but there were these katas that you learned to to channel energy. Um, into another being. Um, you remember Razaga teaching you. Um, for you, it was when one of the ancient turtles were, um, were, were had kind of an egg that would fall out of the nest. This would happen only once every few hundred years, but everyone was taught this movement because sometimes someone would be called to go and kind of save one of the ancient one's children because they, they would not accept them into the nest themselves. And so they would perform this ritual, this kata that you've done thousands of times. It was part of, it was part of morning service. Um, uh, but it was, it was kind of holding something round. And you, you just remember the stories of the people that have had to actually had to implement it. Um, they were regarded as heroes, but they were, um, they were never the same. Their life force 
was gone. Sometimes they, they were made cripple uh, by by pouring themselves into saving these, you know, what 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 your order almost holds as kind of these deity turtles. Um, and so you just remember, uh, you know, it, you, you kind of, it just has that kind of vibe to it, that kind of like, you know, this just, it just, you, you get that flashback. Okay. Um, just from the last episode, does Weasel know what an eternal one is? No, no. No idea? Mm-mm. Not a history Mm-mm. check there Mm-mm. or anything? Okay, cool. Uh, you can roll. Uh, I mean, if you get a crit, maybe you'll know something. But... <laughs> 15, I don't know mm, shit. Nah, nah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Wang, you know, gets those flashbacks. He kind of has his eyes kind of water up a bit with the flashbacks of Professor Zaga teaching him those moves. Um, he looks at Weasel and he's like, I think I might know what to do. Uh, Artie, is mm. it ready? Is it ready? Mm-hmm. What I was the music? making. Oh, the thing you were making? Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. It, 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 you, can, you can tell me how ready it has been. I'll totally up to you. You've had a day, so. Okay, I know. If, it's, if, if it can be completely done, it's completely done. Go for it. All right, so um, you get, you know, uh, You're talking about the hot pocket, um, right? Because you were making the hot pocket. The hot pocket, the, yes. Yeah, the, the hot pocket's ready. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I'll be right back. I got just, go, just don't um, burn your mouth. Yeah. Just Mom! don't burn your mouth. <laughs> Mom, I need that. No. Um, so, yeah. So uh, Wang takes a stone from you. Uh, and as he's taking the stone, he simultaneously kind of reaches behind him, uh, pulls out a brand new staff, kind of twirls it, and slams it in front of you. And he goes, if you want to be one of us. You need the weapon of ours. And he hands it to you. Um, she takes it and she holds it. And she looks at him and, and she says, um, I don't think I'm ready for this. <clears throat> Wang uh, kind of just looks, looks you over a bit and he says, it might be a bit too soon, but in this fight, you never know what might happen. So take it you don't have to use it if you don't want to but um something tells me you'll know what to do with that okay she takes and it. there and uh when you kind of look it over it's it's kind of it's just you know like a regular staff but kind of where your hands are there's some engravings of uh like ocean waves and uh, turtles and there's an engraving on it which in the language from where i'm from it means family Oh snap! You got oh. an Ohana staff. Does Weasel recognize <laughs> what it is and what it says? Uh, that would be up to the DM, but I could, I, I you know, I just have Wang tell you that information because <laughs> oh. I don't think I don't think you would know that language. That language is pretty no, much. No, I don't think she would either. Island. She's not very well educated. It says smashy stick. Smashy, <laughs> smash. Oh, and then on the other side of it. So it's like family on one side, and on the other side, it says, I am strong with an exclamation. Nice. <laughs> nice. Awesome. I, I think we lost her. Lost who? She looks frozen. Yeah, froze. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's like deeply meditating, or we lost her. <laughs> oh, I think she just shot a message. Yeah, computer problem. Okay. <laughs> She's beyond words. <laughs> she loves it so much. <laughs> Dramatic pause. Yeah. Good timing. Good, good timing on this guy. She's like, I don't lose no health points this way. Booyah. <laughs> <laughs> she gets to come back after it's all done and just. <laughs> Safe from the monster. bag of holding. Right? I was yeah. just about to say that. She was like, I think I left some. Whoop. Yeah. <laughs> That's the end of this story. Like, the monster dies, the rift closes, the party dies. And everyone's gone, and then it's like her head just pops out of the like bag of holding as it's floating away in the magma. Like, okay. hello. And, and then she avenges us <laughs> yeah. with her stick, yelling, "I am strong." I'm, she charges into the closing portal. And, right. yeah. Just ha, ha. <laughs> swinging just it like a texted... battle axe. That's all she knows. Yeah, that's right. All right, let me switch around. She just texted me that her computer just dramatically turned itself off. <laughs> oh God. Oh wow. Mm. All right, hang on. I'm, I'm so, moving around our, our nameplates momentarily here. Just... Okay. So while we're, uh, or we're waiting for her to come back, uh, just tell me what is our, um, like, our approach for um, 
engaging this thing? How do you guys want to uh, um, do this? So I think, I think we, we should we... throw Ulrich at him <laughs> while it's busy. Then uh, for Tala, go hit it with her hit it, hit it with her axe. I think we also have to seal the tunnel though. Because if care that of tunnel that. stays open, you'll take care of the tunnel. Okay. I'm well, gonna boom it. I um. I think I have a a solution that is gonna be kind of weird. I like a weird solution. Okay, let's go. I mean, other than throwing me at it. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, I'm kind of getting that strange tingling again, like I did when before when, earlier in the caves. Your turtle really, sense. Yeah. You've been you know, too much the, fiber again, turtle, Wayne. Too much, <laughs> too much fiber. <laughs> Um, and something tells me as soon as we step into that room, it's going to go down. Like he's going to be calling for people and it's, it's something's going to happen. Um, and I have this and I show them the stone, uh, and I immediately just take a couple steps away from (laughs) total bottom. (laughs) Um, and I'm like, not for eating this time, but I think, I think I need to seal the door using this stone. My precious. No, no. No, no. <laughs> so um, here, here's the thing, Wang. You say I, say I need to seal the door. You get just a real quick glimpse. Like the room's dark and you're looking down and you see something glowing in your hand and you see the portal, the rift. And then you see the pouch and you're looking like it's the only three things for a second. Almost as if there's two ways to close it. One is with this. The other is with... The, that chaos. You don't know what's going to do what, but they might both work. Smurf juice. Ha. You're back. Um, I kind of just, I think I might have another plan. Um, <laughs> I, I, that was not a recommendation. I just want to let you know that there's a choice. Okay. So I don't have to say anything about that. No, no, no. You don't have to say anything at you all. Know. I'm just saying, so, which, 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 so this is what I'm I'll say, your... right? If you want to use my Smurf juice and you're in your Ogre Stone and do you do your kata, I'm totally cool to give you some. Okay. Uh, so there are two. It's like yin and yang. They're opposing energies, chaos and order, right? Mm-hmm. Applying order to this rift will probably do something. Applying chaos to this rift will probably do something else. They'll probably both permanently change it and probably close it um think about like think about stitching a wound or cauterizing a wound one is applying more um trauma Mm -hmm. to deal with the problem one is is healing it from the inside out um so what you have is order and fruit punch you got both so uh (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Total bottom. I need you to eat this stone, make dust, so I can have both. No! I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I was thinking the same thing exactly. <laughs> Sorry, guys. My computer decided to stage a rebellion, but we're back. That's okay. Welcome back. You you missed that on your staff. It says the family on one side in in, in my language, but on the other side it says I am strong with exclamation point. So yeah, um, okay. and, and I have a, I have a dilemma, so I could either close, close, the rift with the stone of order or the uh, you know twiddle bottom special powder of make everything grow big and destroy things. <laughs> oh God. Uh, well, Which first was- of all, I want to say that when Wing Two tells Weasel what's on the staff. She literally turns around and just like has to have a moment. Mm. <laughs> and there's nowhere for her to go, so she just turns around. Yeah. She turns around, like goes on her knees a little bit, like, oh. Yeah. Like just has a quick minute. And then she turns around and she's fine. Mm-hmm. Fine. 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 Touching the this set, right? Like totally like eye. teenager crying. Yeah. Fine. This bug. I love you the bugs. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid spider! She just met in my face! <laughs> She's like covered in dirt. She's so disgusting. Um, She's like tears, yeah. tears streaked dirt yeah. down her face. It's not mascara, it's, it's dirt. 
It's dirt. <laughs> no, it's dirt. Do you think this bitch wears mascara? No, this is a disgusting teenager. She's not wearing mascara. <laughs> okay. No, so teach. What we All right, Wang. Okay. So what is the? What she is hasn't the, had a shower. What's the plan, let Wang? Alone put on mascara. Um. So I, I've seen what the chaos stone can do. Um. So I think I'm gonna stick with the stone of order and try to close it that way. Ah, uh, okay. boring. <laughs> hey, Ulrich, if you give me a dollar, I'll, I'll sprinkle some Smurfies on you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That doesn't sound like a bad idea. I mean, I can always try I, mixing. I, I've already made a giant Vertala. I can make a giant Ulrich, too. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Maybe let's not. do it. I'm cold let, feet. Let, let's let's do it. Come on. The one time Twiddle Bottom gets cold feet. Let's do it. <laughs> That's how you know he cares about his team when he doesn't want to put his team in jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What are we doing, guys? Tell, tell me to play. Right. So I'll go in axe swinging. Okay. I'm, I'm in so there. If someone else go is in. I'm yeah, I mean, I'll go in axe swinging with you. Wait, wait, I'm, before I'm we go in. the giant before, potion. Before we go in. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to ask, gonna wait, ask, wait. I'm gonna wait. ask uh, Wayne, too, what he's going to do with the, with the shark. Um, um, I am going to be in the fight, but I'm probably going to hang a little further back. It's kind of weird, but I think I need to do some of my homeland's old katas to somehow activate this stone to merge with the portal. So I'm going to just keep giving you tips. Of order. That, that just to help you put two and two together for, based off your 16 um, those katas were short range you're going to need to be close um, I have for a question rift. sorry uh, maybe I just can you can you give us a quick refresher of what the creature we're facing looks like yeah so okay again terrain you have is past the corridor there's kind of a landing uh, with 20 feet on either side it's mm -hmm. kind of slanted and not so um together anymore there's this magma river that's flowing and what, what seems like it used to be a s solid floor right um it's kind of cracked apart and there's these you know kind of mounds in the middle that you could hop across um the magma definitely looks very like uh you'll probably die if you go in it so don't don't do that um yes. and uh then there's this this thing on the other side you can definitely see a very clear rift it's uh you know the size of a doorway um, and there's something else on the other side of it, like a whole different dimension. Um, and then there's this creature. He's like, it's a big cavern. Um, it, it's tall ceilings. This guy is like mastodon sized. He's like asymmetrical. He's got like a huge flaming claw on one side and almost this kind of emaciated looking hand on the other. Um, his body looks very bestial and somehow his face looks very almost human he's got this like scraggly kind of fur beard going on he's kind of like this maroon red color um strange looking my next question is the staff an existing item does it have stats um as of so should i roll an investigation check um the staff you just got yeah like if I wanted to use it in this battle, uh, I'm gonna, Stephen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you in the DM seat because it'll be, it'll do one of two things. It'll e either it's a regular staff for now and it's gonna do other things later, or she grabs it, and the key she has, is kind of barbarian key. It turns into a fucking great sword, a great club sized quarter staff. I say, barbarian, barbarian. as as a DM. It definitely turns into a barbarian staff. Yeah. All right, yeah. So it's like this fat now, you know, and it's like yeah. just oh, man. same design, but it's like quarter. It's like great club. So stats for a great club. It's not a, it's not a magical weapon or anything, but it is cool. big. I'm gonna add that to my inventory. Uh, while that's happening, um, Wang looks over at Twiddlebottom and he's like, "Remember how I said I had to hang back." I meant I have to get really close. <laughs> so you... we have to draw him away, essentially. Draw him away or... Or towards you. Kind of riskier. Do you remember that... You, you, you can make kind of alive things, right? Or solid objects, right? Yeah. Do you remember that 
one guy who used to travel with us. Uh, his name was Amiz. Yeah, I remember Amiz, my old friend. Yeah. What if you made him and had him charge and I followed behind him? Uh, my solid things can't move. Neither could I Amiz, could really. A bridge. Huh? Neither could Amiz, really. I mean... <laughs> well, that's true. Tanky he, guy. He was he was tanky and didn't go fast. So um, I could make you a bridge. Hmm. How long? But you're good at jumping. Ah, I, ten I seconds. I am good at jumping. I am good at jumping. Thing is, I to get this thing closed quick, I need to get there quick. But that is a big dude. So I think we draw him out. Let me take care of that. Mm -hmm. I'll take these these young ones. And uh, we will do something unexpected. All right. It's kind of your specialty. You d just <laughs> take care of my apprentice. <laughs> okay. So. Weasel smiles. The weapon wielding ones are charging in. The spell crafty one is making distractions. No, right. I actually have a better idea. Okay. Instead of charging in, I'd like to lure the guy to us. To attack us. To your side of the magma river. Right. Okay. Do Weasel and I have that much self-control? <laughs> <laughs> so Weasel? No. So what, what I'm going to tell I Weasel... I haven't taught Weasel that yet. <laughs> what, what, what I'm going to tell the other people is... is I'm going to go out there. He's going to charge me. And you have to stop before he eats me alive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. That's doable. I mean, I, I can sit down and wait. Uh, looks at Vertala and goes, we can do that. We can handle is waiting. the Christmas tree still in the bag of holding? Hey, hey, Rye, give me a quick perception check. All right. Is the Christmas tree there? Hold on. It is definitely there. Hold on, hold on. It's there. But, okay. But also perception check, please. 19. Um, you're kind of the closest to the doorway because you were sneaking forward, and you're noticing the disposition of this creature changing a little bit. He looks unsettled, and he's starting to sniff the air. Mm-mm. Hmm. <laughs> So I'm going to so, take okay. out a pinch of my dust. <laughs> I'm going to put it in a, into a small bag. I'm going to hand it to how big Rye. Is it? I'm going to say, when the time is right, you know what to do. And I'm going to step okay. out. I'm going to take the bag. Everyone's I'm getting goodies. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like saying that this is like the guys. Ah, never mind. We're too He's got like the fantasy version of like a little dime bag. It's like small, yeah. ziplock, like <laughs> chain mail. <laughs> oh, to the bottom, spedal in. Okay, I love it. Um. <laughs> Remember, I'm the god of unexpected yet hilarious plans that okay, somehow so, work. So then um, I see him sniffing. How big is he again? Mastodon. Mastodon. Okay. Hmm. Take take a take a big well, elephant I'm, you've I'm, seen in real I'm, life. I'm, and quadruple. I'm already, yeah, yes, I'm already yes. stepping um, out. Four, I'm not four letting legged? them four so legged? go first. Four-legged? Which direction is he facing? Is he facing our direction? He, he's generally facing your direction. Like his kind of side black back is to the portal and he's kind of looking about the room and skulking about. Is there any like objects in the room that I could probably sneak uh, towards? Th there's, there's, um, yeah, like there's a couple like, um, stalactites on the outside uh, and there's a couple like little religious kind of altars and things scattered about hmm. how far are the religious things 20 feet 20 feet hmm. walking speed 30 okay. so I have already passed him since he is thinking <laughs> I'm going to step into the chamber okay I'm going to fling a phantasmal killer at the guy I'm going to let my true self materialize I, I look like me like my doppelganger form and i'm going to hit him with a uh, advantaged uh phantasmal killer to make myself look even more like a fey god than i am phantasmal killer is what uh essentially he he sees an illusion of something that 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 what was that basically he sees an illusion that hurts him and anything that hurts him looks like that illusion but I'm hoping by using range, that on a failed save, target becomes frightened at the end of its turn. Forces. 
Okay. <clears throat> so, um, and I'm using Tides of Chaos to give myself advantage. And okay. Roll a d20 to get some cool things happen. Go ahead. I understand that this was your intention, but you don't have the drop on him. He's looking for you guys, so we're gonna roll for initiative. Yep. See if he goes before you. So let's okay. let's roll initiative and see if this happens first or if he goes first. Uh, Twitter bottom. I was trying to sneak. Oh, he only has a seven. Ugh. You probably you're probably 14. going first. Okay. There's our initiative tracker. Did I? I it? got a natural twenty. Natural eighteen up to twenty. Ooh. Fifteen, fifteen. Okay. It's a fourteen that I was feeling okay. <laughs> All right. So twenty wow. ten. three. I got a twenty tree. Ten. So right. I still go before. Good initiative rolls, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> he dropped the y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Happens sometimes. Now it's time for y'all to go in there and fight this thing. <laughs> Can't control it. It's out of my ability. No, it's yes. lovely. It... <laughs> All right, so up in the south. Let's uh, <laughs> let's finish. Uh, let's finish rolling initiative, updating the sheet. Um, I do have to tuck oh. in the little guy. So give me three, four minutes here, and uh, we will Can you send jump us into the combat. Sheet? Yeah. I'll send it. Bookmark it. Bookmark it. Oh, Thanks. you're right. I'm a fool. I keep forgetting to do that. All right. Uh, you guys will link it to each other. I will be yes. back in a couple minutes, and we will do some awesome stuff. All right. Let's. Got it. Sort, 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 sort. Wow, there's Twitter. a lot happening on this sheet. Someone have fun. <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm Boobies. not even on our campaign. There, there's something on this sheet called boo-boos. <laughs> Sorry, I'm filling water. That's really making me want to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> um, why does the fire fey demon have 99,000 9, HP? <laughs> we're screwed. He already hates us. I don't think we're supposed to see that number, but that is terrifying. Y'all, we should have pushed it into the rift and then sealed the rift. I don't know why I didn't I think, think it's that well now. too late for that. Because it's on the other side of the rift yeah, looking nope, at us. We're, we're screwed now. We didn't we're think that over. through until just now. Mm -hmm. I, uh, Look, we're not a party that thinks things. Clearly. We I are. like how if you hang, if you hover over the 999 whatever, it says anonymous penguin. <laughs> just an anonymous penguin throwing unkillable monsters at us. Someone Ooh. else is on as anonymous dingo, and someone else is an anonymous beaver. That's great. Thank you, Google. I, re I really wish my HP was at forty-five. That would make someone is an anonymous so hedgehog. Oh yeah, me. we should update oh, yeah. that too. HP. Good call. Twenty-six. Wow. So I have the lowest HP right now. Oh, they healed yeah. you, didn't they? Yeah. Wait, did but you it, have it, a still lowest HP? Yeah. Wait, it, is it? It, it didn't. What are you at? I'm at 18, but it's all right. Oh, oh. I will die an honorable death. I'm going well, to I change. Saved some, I saved some lay on hands, so I can always revive. Okay. okay. I'm holding my staff, so that brings my armor class to an 18. Oh, well, I guess Rai's going to charge in and say, today is a good day to die. Oh, yeah, what's my armor class? But you, you got to, like, snort the, snort, the, the smurf juice first. Rai, I would never, and I mean I would never <laughs> tell you to do this. But take out flame tongue. Don't worry, it's, it's already happening. You should like, you should like snort the surf juice. And be like, say hello to my little friend. Oh, what would happen if you put the powder on flame tongue? Oh, you people are but dangerous. It... Okay. <laughs> All right, this we're not even the it fire. Amusing, Wang. It's your turn. turn. What are we doing? <laughs> it was my Wait. turn. No, no, that, that so. would be gr that's a great idea. Would it become like a bigger flame tongue? Oh my God. <laughs> um, French. To the plan. French Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Yeah, uh, Wang is gonna Wait, skip wait. his turn, kind of hold back. I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm getting. You don't have to skip your run. turn, right? Basically, you can you can hold your action up until you can react to something. Yeah, yeah that, you that's got a ready. You got a ready and action. So you got to decide what you're gonna do and decide what the trigger is. Okay, so I am going to get as close as I can without being in the visual of that beast to keep its view on Twiddlebottom, and when it gets close enough, that's when I'm going to book it towards the portal. Okay. Sounds good. Um, it is Weasel's turn. 
Um, so Weasel for the time being is also going to hesitate because we have a plan. We're following it. Mm. Uh, Weasel's going to sort of edge towards edge towards Wang Tu um, and with the new staff uh, just ready in action for um, if it looks like Wang Tu is in danger. Okay. Sounds good. Um, Wait, Wang Tu's in danger or Twiddle's in danger? <laughs> <laughs> The way, the way the way to a girl's heart is through big weapons. Yes. Yeah, I mean, well, I'm, I, I'm the one going out there. But I stand by what I said. <laughs> switch gears, like it, it, as needed. She'll switch gears. Yeah. You can't oh, okay. with the right action, but all right. Right, it's switch your turn. Gears. No, but like after. Yeah. How about whenever <laughs> your party is in danger, you can. Sure, yeah, I'll ready in action right. for when a party member is in danger. Yeah. When a party member is attacked. So, <laughs> Artie, let me, tell me this. Hmm. Or is the Macedon completely focused on us at this point because of Twitter Bottom? You're rushing in. It hasn't reacted yet. So it just sees you. Yes, it's seeing people enter the room or whoever's just, well, Twitter hasn't gone. Everyone's waiting, right? So he shouldn't yeah. see anything until I step out. Yeah, everyone's waiting. Right. Don't you have a higher so, roll? It says seven on here. I was a 10. I should have a 10 plus 2. Okay. So, 12. Okay. So, I'm going to try to sneak behind a stalagmite. Okay. The one person who can't follow the plan. I gave him my smurf juice. Okay. And I rolled a 4. Oh. So, your, your, your plan, plan is still going to go into action somewhere. Oh, uh, it's going to somehow go somewhere into action. Yeah, yeah you somehow. So what is it about your your stealth that like tips you off that he sees? Oh, his it's the backpack. Bag, his old bag falls out of the bag of holding. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and trips him. So <laughs> now here we go. I, I got it. I, go. like, I got it. I got it. So the old backpack it falls in, and you're like, God damn it! Like it it falls into the magma. And you're like, I, I remember what I bought from Auchendale. There's like fireworks. So it's like. It's just like <laughs> shit just shooting off everywhere. Bang, 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 bang. And you're like, oh. I look at Twitter bottom. Is that my cue? <laughs> Do I run now? <laughs> so, yeah, we look like, yeah, I just face palm. The old backpack and all of its bad luck is, is now melting away in the fire because it just you know detached itself. Uh, but this thing just bellows. <laughs> and you all feel it deep in your chest as this thing is just shaking the air as it's starting to kind of charge towards you all um uh, all yeah. right so but it is uh not his turn to act it is uh, uh right what, do you, what else are you doing besides sneaking now that it sees you now that it sees me i can take a it's is it charging you said oh yeah snort it snort the pixie dust <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i'm gonna do a holding action <laughs> holding oh. what do you mean what are you gonna do I'm just going to hold and get ready to dodge it as soon as it comes close to me. Is this like a deer in headlights moment? <laughs> like, I'm you, already so stressed. Are you, are you readying an attack or are you just taking the dodge action? Which means I'm going to take the, the, the dodge action. All right. So you're going to like get behind the thing you were holding, like trying to sneak behind, like duck down and like just. I'm just going to like get out of the way. Get out of the way and, you know, and we'll take it from there. Maybe I'll sniff some pixie dust afterwards. Okay. I like it. Um, is yeah. is the because demon blade I am out? Terif- the demon blade is sheathed at the moment. Okay, All right. that's why he's not charging. No, no bloodlust yet. No bloodlust yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, it is uh, it is Vertala's turn. All right. So I'm gonna run in, chugging that potion. Awesome. <laughs> He's like turning into the Hulk. <laughs> as large as possible. <laughs> Battle yeah. axe. Held above my head, straight on. Oh. At this beastie. Um, How come nobody's taking the plan? In <laughs> awe. Why, why is nobody sticking my... with the plan? <laughs> my family with me. Not I only is Weasel in awe, Weasel is having an awakening. <laughs> the path is straight. It's uh-huh. a straight path. The path. I She's must following follow the path. The path. <laughs> okay. So, so you can do uh, one of two things if you want to meet this guy. You can kind of like run up to like where you would intercept him when he comes over the river, or you can like jump across the magma river to kind of meet him where he's at. 
Oh, Artie, You're gonna Artie, let him come. Artie, Artie. Okay, yeah. You, you, you have to play the recording at, at this epic moment. <laughs> I was thinking it, but I didn't say it. I know. I, the I, song? All right, all right, hold on. Yeah, right. Hold on. We need it's more coming. Songs. It's coming. Uh... Do, do, do. Weasel's face is just. <laughs> okay, Alric, I tested this yesterday on my own Zoom. I need the ability to share my desktop audio with you, and I don't know what I can do that. Hang on, let's see. Where's my settings? Ooh, that's not what I wanted. Uh-huh. Your voice has such I'm rich, thinking... deep reverberation. It was beautiful. Mm. This is awesome mic. Shout out to Blue that gave us this awesome mic again, by the way. Um, let's see. <laughs> Not gave us. Gave us hookups and really pr good price. Um... Mm -hmm. We need it. We need it. Where are you? <laughs> so that I can stroll calmly towards the monster. Like if you, I can just put While it on my other attacks. computer. Wait, wait, wait. Every step, she's bigger. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yes. that's fire. And we, we need like that Spartan oh, in the background as it's going. Yes. Hang on, hang on. If you're on Twitch with me, you're like looking at my settings to try to find this thing. <laughs> we got we got giant dwarves. We got giant staves. We got all kinds of craziness going. <sighs> I need my mouse. Video. Uh, as a host, I can share my video. I don't know if I can share my. Oh, what? oh, hang on. I think I can go if I share my. Can I share my screen with you? Yep. Thanks. So. How? Uh, we are taking a quick uh, break, everyone. Please return no. in about uh, one or two minutes. <laughs> It'll be worth it. I promise. I see it under meeting. Start share. Hmm. It's at the like top drop down. I don't know what kind of a computer you're on, though. Mm. Refreshments can be found down the hall to the left. <laughs> Press Alt uh, S. Okay, hang on, hang on. I'm sharing. Oh, this is this is meta. I'm I'm <laughs> switch streaming my monitor. That's that's on a video call. That I'm streaming <laughs> my other desktop. Um, screen number three. All right. Oh, hello. So, you guys have so welcome can, to office? Yes, we have welcome to office. Mm -hmm. If you have any uh, monster details you'd like to put up on screen, now would be the time. <laughs> oh, please hold. That's the, that's the narrow road. Yeah, that's the road. I love it. Like, that's her it's view with just road. a monster at the end of it. Like, oh, I'm going to get you. So fucking cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let me go. There we go. Some light. Let me know if you can hear it. Um, nope. I don't hear anything. So you can unshare, and then just once you hit share, click advance settings. Share computer sound. We found it. All right. It only took us five minutes and six very intelligent adults to do it but we found the button. now this is great because then the other people who want to know how to do this could now they have reference now all right maybe this will work hang on ready um, oh yeah. yeah oh yeah oh this is so awesome into the unknown sure of stride i go Vertal is just like getting larger and larger. Travel the spirit beneath dwarves are like getting larger feet. with you as they're just like slow motion charging and and We're gonna just resolve your attack now because we have to. The so he, path that will he set meets you me free. and you just, you're flying in the air and you're meeting A warrior's in the air. What do you do? Take me. So, the road the shall air. lift can, can my soul. It's light and truth. <laughs> so in flying me. through the air, axe above my head. The road shall all of my people lift around my me. Soul. I'm going to lower. swing at the its road neck. Shall lift my soul. <laughs> the road so I'm going in street, swinging at its neck. Soul. I'm looking to sever that head. Oh, that's it. We that all was, have homework. That was great. That was worth it. That was worth it. That was worth it. We, all, we, like, we need to make. It. Everyone a theme song now. That this has to happen. <laughs> you can find it on this Apple Music uh, later. Didn't I know?
Um, <laughs> well, Twiddle Bottom already has his battle music, right? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Can you hear it? Yep. We can't actually. <laughs> it's, it's going. I can't hear it. I heard it faintly All in the right. background. All right. Oh, there. <laughs> It's funny. All right, I, I'll be honest. I was too busy on bullies asking. I didn't. I hadn't. Didn't even hear what you said you were doing. Um, totally fair. So I, uh, as I got closer, was swinging for its neck. I don't know. Did my axe get bigger with me, or is it yeah, now a yeah, tiny axe? Definitely. Okay, good. good yeah, good. a large person has like a. It, just look it up on D and D Beyond if you want. It's, it has cool. specific stuff. It does. It like gives you bigger weapon attacks and stuff. Nice. Okay. Or it's a large reduce rather. Is the name of the spell. If right. you one shot this thing, that's gonna be beautiful. All right, go ahead and make your attack. Okay. Uh, mm. that was an eleven. <laughs> With so, all your modifiers. Uh. Wait, nope. I forgot about my modifiers. And you get modifiers for being bigger too. <laughs> yep, which I'm still trying to look up. While she's I adding those modifiers, yeah. I yeah, look so at Twitter Bottom, and I'm like. I think this is the new plan, and I'm just like charging in behind the giant Vertala. <laughs> She's like, just, just a linebacker. Trying, She's just, just like just Jerome try, Bettis, just... Yeah, just try to use her like new gigantic form to get to the. <laughs> yeah, going in. Right. So what enlarge does? Like, uh, <laughs> enlarge gives you advantage on any strength checks you make to like saves and and, ch and checks, and you get an additional okay. D four of damage. So any damage you do is going to get the additional D four from being large and an additional Love smite it. all the time. Okay. So that is. What was the hit? Did you hit? What was the? Uh, the hit was fourteen. That fourteen was total. What is? Okay. Yeah. Really? You got a plus three. Yeah, you should yeah. have more. Yeah. I would think you. Am have I more. reading this wrong? Wait. Yeah, your attack roll. We go over this every time. I know. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. This is what I always lose track of too. This is um, the it should be that... plus your proficiency bonus. Yeah, and your gotcha. strength bonus. Gotcha. So, uh, and the strength bonus. I think that's what I was doing wrong. Okay. And it's a magical weapon that gives you plus one. So it's, so, it's math. It's, it's one 18. plus proficiency it's plus strength. It's 18 then. You totally hit. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Aren't yeah, you glad I made your I, attack more complicated? Because yes, now you get a yes. smite and a d4. You get all this stuff. Uh, I'm so excited. Well, let's say regular attack is... Is that thunder or is Vertala oh, rolling attack dice? That was a three. That's not great. And then I have this enlarge. Where's my D4? Yay, that was a four. Was was that the Millennium Seven. Falcon I just peeped over there? Yes. And hold up, sorry. Last modifier that I I'm reading. Okay. And that's 2d8s. So that's... That is a lot! So that puts me at 19. 19 total. damage? Yeah. Awesome. For... Um, do, you, do you want to describe the hit? It, it, it hits him hard. I mean, it doesn't kill him anywhere close to it. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, oh, yeah. So... Being that I'm coming in with my axe, my family comes in mm. from the other side, and you can hear the clang of the axes behind his neck as it cuts in, mm. and nice. the spurt of blood splashes forth. Awesome. Yep. Except it's magma, so you you you, you make purchase, and there's just Ooh. a hot seeping magma coming down from his neck. Um, you, you, you pull, the, you know, kind of pull the blade out and it's kind of steaming hot as it's, you know, um, made, made purchase. And I feel like, you know, there's this collision, this midair collision, right? Like you, you hit them, you kind of, you were like mangled each other and you drop to the floor and you're just like face to face with this thing as it's just, and it's coming down on you. We'll see what happens. Um, okay. Next. So if you had a, uh, held action for when your party was in trouble with this creature um you're welcome to go now so steven weasel yeah 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 yeah. um i will go steve do you want to go first yeah no i'm uh yeah i'm, I'm booking so where, where are you going 
Uh, I'm going to the portal. Okay. So you kind of have to go, like, through where he's at, right? Like, he kind of went through where these hopping stones are and is just right on the the close side of it. So you either got to go kind of over him, under him, or make a really big jump. Hmm. Over him. Or if you wait for Twiddle's turn, I'll make you a bridge. It's Hmm. just magma. You'll probably die, but... It's fine. <laughs> Probably <laughs> die. I mean, it's like, a, has... it's like a 15 to 20 foot jump. I mean, let's be honest. Wang has jumped twice that distance and somehow <laughs> survived. You're that guy. Uh... He jumped, he spit, he double jumped off his spit. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll be on. Like, I want to put the disclaimer out there. This magma will probably kill you if you fall into it for any reason. Like... <laughs> Don't fall in the magma. All right, I'm not gonna chance it, and I'll, I'll just I'll just wait for the bridge. Okay, well I had my held action, so I'm gonna just like swing at the thing. All right, awesome. Just I just had a held attack, so I'll just do that. Yeah, go for it. He's got kind of an exposed um, flank now that he's coming at your buddy. Well, I rolled a natural 17. Okay. Nice. You're gonna um, hit. and wait, so wait, I know that I've hit, but quick order of business. Uh, if I'm hitting with either the staff or my axe. My staff right now, because that's what I have open, and I don't have a bonus action. Mm -hmm. That is plus my strength and plus my proficiency. Yes. That's a 27 to hit. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah, I think you're going to hit. Are you raging? Of course you're raging, right? Um, So I didn't go into a rage on the previous turn. I waited. So technically I'm not. But you can rage rage as a bonus action now if you want to do that. Or you can attack twice and then... Does that count with a held action? I'll allow it. I mean, you, you see okay, this guy I'm, argu- I'm arguing against my own interests. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Yes, I go into a frenzy. Awesome. <laughs> I, think, I think as you go into a rage, that's when, like, the key comes out of you a bit and goes into the staff. Yeah. And just, Absol- <laughs> now is when, yes, now is when the staff This is goes. when Weasel yeah. finds out. Yeah. Yes, and so, so she goes into a frenzy. Her, her hair whips up. Um, the staff boofs out in her hands, and she's like, and she just... Comes in after Ratala and brings this thing down, sort of on the other side of its head. Awesome. Um, and rolls the twenty-seven for attack. Yeah, twenty-seven is definitely gonna hit. And then for my uh, attack, new weapon, new dice. Woo! Okay, one d eight plus four. It's not that much, and it's bludgeoning damage. Uh, that's eight damage. Eight plus your rage gives you two more. Oh, fuck yeah. The 10. Okay. And and Vertala, how much did you do again? Forgot. Didn't write it down. I think it was 17. I think it was 8. I think it was 17. Yeah. Okay. Um, we forgot your second attack for, for fast but oh, we keeping. totally did. We got you just did it again. You did, you did 34. Okay. It's fine. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and uh, you have one more attack too, Miss Barbarian. Yes, I do. Okay. Um, so I roll a second time. Uh oh. Please don't say that's that magic. That's a fat one. Oh. Um, okay. What happens? Wanna... So she she brings out her first attack. She she brains the thing. Um. <laughs> <laughs> she broke herself. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I had a really funny thought. I don't know if I should go for it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. So she she brains the thing with her first attack, and then uh, she just kind of sees Vertala out of the corner of her eye, being like huge and buff, and is so distracted that she just like brings it down onto the floor for the second attack. <laughs> awesome. And like staggers back a step. She's just like, okay, giant staff. All right, yeah. Um. And I guess that's my turn. Okay, cool. So yeah, you two have kind of met this thing as it's leapt across the uh, the, the chasm at you. Um, and who's up next? Lord Cantankerous Twiddlebottom. Twiddlebottom, the the person who's initiating our plan, uh, the the first action <laughs> in in the Great Plan. Right, the Great Plan. The one. Great Plan. Yes. All right. So change in the Great Plan. Uh, <laughs> how 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 big is the chasm? About 20 feet, 20, 25, depending on where you're at in it. 
Perfect. So major image is 20 feet. Okay. So I am going to do two things. The first is I am going to concentrate and I'm going to create a bridge. Uh, so basically as Wang 2 is running, a bridge will materialize under his feet. And I'm going to use my, my daily power to make that bridge a stone bridge mm-hmm. so he can just race across. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to misty step myself as a bonus action to be to interpose myself between Wang to between the monster and Wang to and the portal behind me. Awesome. Okay. Um, that is fantastic. And how wide uh, is your bridge? Like, how much chasm are you covering? We're going to say this is a good you know 50, 60 foot at least in length in terms of this magma river. So how much are you? Is it like twenty feet of it that you're going to? Uh, no, I, I want to make it so that the Wang is protected. So basically, it's more like a um, huh, like a tunnel, I guess. Yeah, like one of those covered bridges, like right. back in the older days yeah, for yeah, horses. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Cool. So five feet wide, you know, just. Whoosh. Yeah, it's like a like a pipe, kind of. Okay. A more artistic than that, you know. I'm fey. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Got like gargoyles on it and things. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's an artisanal pipe. Yes. <laughs> That's right. right. It's definitely nothing that this guy would pick up and use as a staff to smash you guys with. <laughs> oh. um, a 20 foot bridge would have to be pretty strong. He's big. He's <laughs> really big. big. He's a mastodon. He's not, that's yeah, not 20 no, he's feet. Not that big. That's a, the bridge is about as big as him. Um, so, all right. Um, it is the. So, Wang, did we resolve your turn? I don't think we did. Uh, no, we didn't. Okay, so a bridge has, has erupted before you. Um, what do you want to do? Uh, um, I am going to run across that bridge. Okay. So um, from where I'm at... Uh, like where, from where the tunnel is, where's is everybody else? Like, in other words, can I see Weasel and Vertala? Yes. So <clears throat> it's this. It's also this kind of funny thing with um, your intention. It's like you were waiting for the moment that you were waiting for the moment, and the moment you set your mind to, I'm going to get across that chasm. You feel your mind split almost into two, almost like you're looking at the world in split screen. You feel yourself running towards that chasm and you're looking and you're almost translucent. It's almost like your your spirit self is running towards that portal, but you are still here and you still feel the adrenaline pumping in you as you just feel like laying into this beast. What I'm saying is you get to have your cake okay. and eat it too. You can go close the portal and engage this thing. And mechanically, how this, this is how it's going to work. Each round, you'll be making a roll to mm-hmm. do both actions. You can either do, bo- do them both normally or have an advantage on your one of your physical actions, or advantage on your portal closing action, or, or standard on both. But if you have okay. advantage on one, you have disadvantage on the other. Okay, so I I feel that pull, um, and I'm I'm just gonna start running uh, towards the tunnel. Uh, before I like go fully into the tunnel, I run past. Um, I'm running past Weasel and Vitala. So as I'm running, I just pat Weasel on the back. And I don't, it's up to you if she hears this real quick or not. But I say, Ratsuge Bahota as I hit her on the back. And I just keep running through the portal. Uh, and I make it, you know, I run through the tunnel and I make it to the portal. Okay. Uh, and I'm there. I whip out the stone. You know, what? what, what is it? Uh, is there anything? Do I remember anything specific? Yep. So um, this is going to be a, um, a wisdom check. You can add your proficiency to it. Um, and you can tell us what this kata kind of looks like. But as you get to the portal, I mean, you can see on the other side, there are creatures that like as soon as this creature growled, they must have heard it because there are creatures running your direction um, through the other side of this portal. It looks like a bunch of red caps and bigger things. Um, there's definitely like a, there's like a camp on the other side it's outdoors okay um so is it is it like is and this is a progressional thing right it's not going to be like one fluid thing things close that's it right it's going to take a couple yes okay um so 
he goes, he runs in, uh, he kind of does a quick leap to get to the last few feet to the, uh, to the portal. He takes out his staff, um, and lands kind of in a kneeling position. He arises, has the staff out horizontally, does a spin, aims it at the, uh, portal, brings it back and holds the staff in one hand behind him. And then kind of does like a, like a crane kick position where he's up on one leg and he has the, the pole behind him and his other hand kind of reached out towards the, uh, towards the portal, getting ready to start the katas. Nice. All right, give me your first wisdom check. So you're going to do your wisdom modifier, your proficiency, and go ahead and add plus two for your awesome uh, description. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> uh... So you said that was wisdom. Wait, so what, what am I rolling? That was a lot of numbers at one time. I was wisdom proficiency. To... Okay. Just roll the 20, and then you're going to add your wisdom modifier, your proficiency, mm-hmm. and two. So that's two. You're just doing something you're proficient in. Okay. Uh... Try and find the... Okay, so that's two, three, so that's 19... 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So you said wisdom and proficiency. Was that it? Or was there so? Oh, and the two for the description you said? Yeah. So that's 26. Okay. So you center yourself in this kind of dramatic pose. And um, you begin kind of the, the movement of your key. And you're successful, but even your first step, you feel yourself stumble over as you feel you were expecting maybe a river, but you got a waterfall of chi energy and just this primordial force that you feel just come through yourself uh, as this the, the stone kind of erupts with energy that's kind of pointing towards uh, this portal. Um, and you kind of are, you know, kind of recollecting yourself as this thing is starting to, to, to pour this energy out. It's very difficult. It's almost like it's almost like performing a kata in a windstorm. It's very difficult to keep yourself um, upright. Oh, someone left. Someone okay. jumped off a uh, video. Alric, I think are you still Al- there? Alric got cut off. Yeah, that's right. He's hiding anyway. <laughs> uh, I sent you a message, by the way. I don't know if you saw it already. I nope. I'm going to just move nameplates real quick so they're not on top of people's faces. Um, They're on the wrong person, but, you know, whatever. We'll (laughs) fix it when he comes back. Okay. Um, uh, How about your physical self? Uh, My physical self? I think I'm just going to... Block the gate? Yeah, I'm I'm just going to be standing at the gate waiting for anything that comes out to, to attack it. Okay. So you and me holding the gate. Yes, sir. Sounds good. Okay. One success. Good job. Um, it is um, the demon's turn. Fire Fade Demon Guy. Um, so he is definitely going to continue coming down on uh, Vertala. So let me see what he does here. So he, he kind of lands and he like, like you, you, you hit him a couple times and he, you feel like he's about to swipe and he kind of lands and he gets this just devious little grin as he just gives a little sidestep and he looks at the lava and he looks at you and he's just swiping almost horizontal to thump you maybe into this river of death. Please hold. Dramatic balance. I have to look up his stats. <laughs> For damage. Um, this attack is wide enough. He's hitting both uh, Vertala and uh, Weasel. So I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll yeah. separate attacks. Okay. He has a twenty-one to hit on Vertala, and a yeah. eleven to hit on Weasel, which I think is not gonna hit. Vertala, you take uh, 11 points of bludgeoning damage as this just tree trunk of a limb hits you. Um, Brutal. And go ahead and make a uh, dexterity save. Okay. Not fortitude? Uh, no, the, the, the 
attack is going to move her. It's just whether or not she falls. I don't have any. You can do athletics. Either athletics or dex. I'll take either one. You're probably better at athletics. Oh, athletics are much better. Miss Clunky Dwarf. (laughs) Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Okay. That puts me at 21. 21? Awesome. Yeah. So he... He hits you, you feel the wind just rush out of you as, as he hits you in the gut and you kind of slide back and you, you just grab the rock at the last second as like one foot's dangling over the side and you're like, oh, and you're looking down and there's just, you know, bubbling magma underneath you. You're right on the edge. Um, all right. And um, he is going to kind of bellow very loud, shaking the cavern. Um, and the, uh, what you call it? You can see kind of the forces being mobilized from the, uh, the other side of the portal, Steven. Um, Mm. uh, and anybody who's, uh, just perception checks guys. All of us. Uh Uh-huh. Ooh, that's low. That's low. I got a two. Two. Eighteen. 13? 14. Oh, 10. 10. Plus my perception. 14. That's a 13 set. Anybody beat a 15? 10. I had an 18. 18? Um, mm-hmm. You noticed two things, uh, Miss 18. You noticed the yell, that all familiar yell of those stupid freaking red caps down the hallway. Mm-hmm. They heard that. Um, and you also see, like, out of the, um, out of the, the magma that you've almost fallen into, little hands starting to kind of climb up the like kind of magma hands starting to climb up this little cliff <clears throat> they're coming okay a lot of enemies from a lot of directions mm-hmm. wang two um uh, we're back at the top it's your turn all right uh are there any enemies i can see visually coming through the portal uh there is a good dozen that are 20, 30 feet away. So the, the, portal. the portal is the size of a door, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I have, I can dual cast cantrips. I'm planning are hitting them with, uh, so I'm just displaying two. I'm, I'm, anyway, I, can, I can hit them with, uh, with frostbite. Just give them this advantage. So basically just choke, choke hold them. Yeah, one way to get in and you just block the door, the physical body. Yeah, I mean, it's the size of a door, but it's not the structure of a door. It's kind of like, you know what I mean? Like, there's no hard edges to it. You know what I mean? It's it's a rift. It's kind of like... Mm. So you can you can definitely do things to get in front of it and try to keep people from getting through it, but it's not like you could, like, bar it and, like... You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. Wang's turn. Uh, I guess I'll just continue with the kata and uh, just keep the uh, attack action on hold for when one of them, you know, or any of them come through the portal. Okay. Sounds good. Um, uh, let's go ahead and, and do another um, same same roll. Wisdom plus um, uh, wisdom plus your proficiency. And if you let us know what this looks like, um, there might be some bonus points in there for you. Okay, so um, uh, so Wang uh, takes the staff and he kind of smashes it into the uh, into the ground and it kind of stands up straight on its own. And as the staff is there, um, he's looking at the portal but moving in circular motions around the staff while he's keeping his eyes um, on the portal. And uh, if any of you have seen Avatar Last Airbender, he's kind of doing those, you know, smooth, like airbending type motions as he's going around. And as he's going around, uh, very subtly, unless you're really looking at him, you can't see it, but every time a palm comes forward, he releases and throws a bit of his key towards the door. And uh, it's kind of like attacking it and sealing it at the same time. Okay, um, go ahead and make your roll. Add another plus two. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So kind. Um, so, so 15 total. Okay. Um, you 
are kind of channeling your kata. You, you, you're feeling those all familiar feelings. Um, and you, you, you channel the key into it, but you, you feel the energy sputter out. You're like, Oh, I, you know, I was relying too much on habit. I wasn't focusing hard enough. It, it didn't work. Mm -hmm. Um, Do I get another chance at it, or not this turn? Not this turn. Okay. Yeah. So, but you're you're physically just waiting for uh, the the dudes who seem to be arriving soon to arrive. All right. Yep. I just I kind of I'm just there with like you know my back against the pole uh, so I could reach it at any time and I'm just waiting for them to come out. Okay. Cool. Um, it is Weasel's turn. Uh, this hey. you're at kind of this thing's flank as it's kind of you know turned its attention a little bit to the uh, large dwarf in the chasm. Cool. Yeah. All right. So Weasel is in a frenzy. Super yeah. exciting. Um, she's gonna feel really guilty about it, but she's gonna switch from the great act, from the club to her axe because the axe is a bigger hitter. Mm -hmm. okay. So she 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 puts the staff on her back. She, she takes out her ass. I guess that's my bonus action. Yeah. Yeah. It's a free action. It's um. Fine. Okay. Cool. Free action. Thanks. Uh. So I swap out my weapons. Um, and she's gonna, she's gonna fucking go for it. Uh, you know, while it's taking the opportunity, while it's distracted. Um, should I do something dumb? If I have my bonus action? <laughs> yeah. I mean, when asking myself, will we do something dumb? The answer is always yes. yes. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna use my and bonus And she has action. to yell, I am strong. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna use my bonus action to try and vault onto, like, the, onto its back. Okay. Okay, cool. Do you want me to roll for that? She's gonna I, have a fey horse. Well, back. I want you to roll a quick perception on your way up. Oh fuck! Okay, so she, I really she, it would be very interesting if you didn't see. It. She she uses the butt of her axe to vault herself up, and while she's vaulting, she rolls a perception check, and it's a fucking three plus. Three Looks great, six. wide and clear. He's 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 actually bending down. And has his back a little more exposed than normal, for some reason. I don't know why. Great. So she's she's gonna try and, and land on it and just sort of drive her axe down between its shoulder blades. Vertala, just um, just 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 to paint the scene while this awesome attack is happening, what you're seeing is the beast is like inhaling and building up energy that it's about to explode out of its back. But she didn't see that. So, uh, like, its back, its spine is starting to open up, and there's, like, this glow coming out of the top She's of like, it. great, this is the perfect this is place awesome. to yeah. attack <laughs> into. Yeah. Doesn't sense that this is dangerous at all. It's, it's fine. <laughs> so so is just going to start speaking. Uh, and I also want to say that <laughs> no words, this, is just a, speak. Um, this is a reckless attack. Okay, awesome. Which means that I have advantage, but it's going to have advantage against me for the next like round basically yes yes um all my attacks this turn have advantage but everything against me has an advantage in the next turn as you're jumping on it it has opened up a soft spot it's it's skin is opened up your damage will be doubled because you're hitting you know you're hitting the, the, the thing inside the monster that it doesn't want you to hit but Great. you're about to get blown up maybe Great. but cool. but go this for it very, hit him hard this is very on brand <laughs> yeah all right roll i'm gonna roll for my first attack that's a nat 20, bitches! Ooh. Okay. We will nice. double the double. So. All right. So let's roll my d12. So. Yeah. Were you going to do something? No. I'm just... This is going to be huge. I'm so excited. Oh, I love Weasel. I rolled an 11. Okay. 11 plus four, damage. 11 damage plus 4 is 13. Or 15. Yes. So are we doubling that twice? And you add your plus two strength. Okay, so 17. Uh-huh. And we're doubling it twice. So, oh my god. <sighs> so that's so times four. Just... Oh my <sighs> god. 17 times four. That's a 68 uh, hit. Holy shit. Wow. Okay, before we narrate this, wait, before we narrate this, do the rest of the math. Make your second attack, and then we're going to talk okay. about what happens. Okay, so my second attack. Come on, dice, don't fail me now. Okay, that's a 12, but plus my strength. That's a, plus my strength, plus my efficiency bonus. That's a 22, 
And I have advantage on this hit, so let's roll again. Yeah. You crit again, girl. Oh, it's a 10. Sorry, okay. guys. All right. So it's just sort of like a 22. That would have been a crit again. Oh. Yeah. So <laughs> it's only, you're only going to double it, not. not... Yeah. So let's let's roll my next my next bit of damage. Is this mighty twelve? Yes. Ah! Okay. Well, that's a ten. It was in my lap, but it's okay. a ten. All right. Um, plus four is fourteen. Plus two is sixteen. Doubled. Thirty-two more. Two. So that's thirty-two damage plus sixty-eight. I'm doing a hundred damage, guys. Okay. So I want to be very honest with you. I had a certain number in my mind. I said, if she mm -hmm. does 100 damage to this thing as it's trying to make its attack, I will just cancel the attack. So it's just charging up. There's this energy, and you are just boom. I mean, Vertala, what you see is the beast just crash down on its belly as this just massive attack uh, just crashes down on its mm -mm. spine. Uh, I mean, your, your weapon is like in it, like in it. Like you just, it's hard to get it out. And you're just, you're standing on top of this thing. Um, awesome, awesome job. That's what Weasel is doing. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's still raining. alive. It's, it's gasping. Terrifying. Oh, it's definitely alive. Uh, it's gasping and it's prone. Um, but it is alive. She's grinning and she's like, "Wait, you freaking see that? You freaking see that?" <laughs> <laughs> she screams. Wang's just like, "Ah, uh, <laughs> that was awesome." <laughs> And she like tries to like strike a cool pose and look at Vertala. She's like, I'm cool. <laughs> oh man. Okay. All right, good job. Um, so I guess that's my turn. Am I ending my turn still on it? Sure. Yeah. Unless you want to <laughs> yeah, move. I mean you have that? you got movement. No, do I don't want to cool. move. Yeah, just freaking don't claim this move. mountain for your own for the time. Great being. done. Turn. Yeah. Dance a jig. Yeah. So um it's... This is my fate. <laughs> It's kind of the uh, the the, the monster's kind of lair turn. So at this point, it's down on the ground. Um, it closes its eyes for just a second and kind of opens them again, trying to look at you. It's not even kind of seeing you, but its its eyes look like lightning. There's almost like this electric energy coming out of them, and it just it starts to like just fill the room with this um, almost static energy, and you feel. Um, almost a thundering wave of energy kind of explode from the portal itself. So this kind of fey wave of energy crashes over the room. It's super loud. And you, you guys feel it almost more in your, in your spirit. Like your, your, your body feels fine, but your mind feels racked. Um, so everybody go ahead and make me a, uh, we're going to do a constitution save. Okay. Nope, wrong dice. 21. Okay. 15. 15. 19. Wow. Look at you guys Nine. in your saves. Nine. Nine. <laughs> Nine. Nine. <laughs> right after you said, Nine. look at you guys. At Nine. Nine. <laughs> so, um, how is this looking? <laughs> everybody, everybody that's. That's Alric takes 16 damage. Everyone else is taking half. This is psychic damage if it matters to what you're resistant to. I think uh, Barbarian, Miss Barbarian, I think it might matter to you because you're resistant to most other things except psychic. I don't think I'm resistant to psychic. I'm not. resistant to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. Yeah, this is not. This is definitely racking your mind, not your body. Cool. Um, so but I still passed my save. So. Alric, this is, this is actually um, a very so special moment for for you. Go ahead. What? 15, 15, 15 you 16. said? Mm -hmm. 16. Oh, okay. So oh. two eight for, the, eight for the rest two? of us. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, um, seven. <laughs> so, uh, Alric, right. this, this wave of fey energy kind of crashes into the room and crashes into your body. The reason why it hurts you so much more is almost like after it hit the walls, it almost seemed like you were attracting it. Like the wave came and welled up and like swirled around you and started coming into your body um two things happen one it's just so much that you kind of drop to a knee and you're just you're you're not conscious for just a just a moment like not unconscious you're just not you know with it for a moment um and you're feeling your body changing um the your 
your fey heritage you've had these just these little kind of these little almost centaurian horns you can feel as they your your body and mind are in pain these horns are 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 changing in your body um they're actually growing into what looks like almost like a like a crown uh of thorns uh and you kind of you look up and your eyes are just lit up with energy um and uh that's permanent not the not the lights but the crown oh man i'm gonna look hideous you're gonna be awesome dude (laughs) hideous how uh i'm hideous no okay (laughs) All right. That's, that's BA. That's awesome. Uh, okay. Is it my turn? I don't know. Let's see. Let's look. It is. Yeah. It it's is your, your turn. turn. Start okay. ramming oh. things. Oh, sorry. Wait. There's just other other explanations of what's happening in the in the in the in the battle because it's it's the layer effect. Um, Wang, there is a group of uh, kind of enemy red caps that have reached you. Uh, you have your ready mm-hmm. attack, so mm-hmm. you can. Uh, use those on as many as you have attacks to use all right i potentially have five attacks so i'm hitting as many as i can uh all right so five attacks let's see here ready attack um while he's rolling tabby g- give me an athletics roll just just roll your die and just just sure. hold that number we'll, we'll resolve it in a second Okay, while 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 Wang is mathing, Sorry. Tabby, what was your roll? Fourteen. <laughs> the um, the creatures, they they look like magma rock versions of red caps. Same ugly little faces, same yeah. stupid little caps, but they're just crawling out of the magma. And one of them grabs you by kind of the ankle, and it's kind of just just tugging. He rolled a seventeen. Um, so you yeah. haven't fallen in, but you are. <laughs> prone with this guy like tugging on you and you're just like you're, you're <laughs> holding on off the edge of this like cliff thing and this is then this thing is just pulling on you at this point okay so i did all the attack rolls uh i did two attacks with the staff one attack with my uh unarmed attack then i spent a key point for filaria blows to do two more unarmed attacks i got a 13 23 17 21 and 13 okay uh, their ac is going to be a 14 i'll just say that so how many hit uh, three. Three hit? Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so one is a staff, the other two are, are non staff. Okay, go ahead and roll your damage. Okay. Um, okay. Let me see. So that's three attacks, right? Mm hmm. Uh, so the first one, which is a staff, is a nine. Mm hmm. Uh, and one unarmed is a six, and the other unarmed is also a nine. Okay. So the, the first one, the nine, you, you're you about to land that solid blow on a skull. You know about how hard you're hitting. You know what you fought these kind of monsters before. Here's the thing. Like, with what's going on right now with this ritual, your staff just goes clean through his head. His head explodes. Second guy, Ooh. boom, hole in the chest. Third guy, Boom, roundhouse, he is cut in half. Like, there is something going on with you right now. You just oh. pour the shit out of three of them. Woo. All right. So I do that. I just I just go back into a, into a defensive stance. I look at the other two that are there. Three more. Um, three that are there. Yeah. And uh, this, this would normally be when he yells something at uh, Weasel. Yeah. But he's just focused. So he's, he's just, you know. All right, let's see. Let's see what they do to you. They 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 don't seem to be phased that your 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 friend uh or you just destroyed their friends. I got a 21, a 17, and a 14 to hit. So with that, I am going to activate my staff which gives me shield. Okay? Shield gives you plus 5 AC. Mhm. What's your AC? My AC right now because I'm holding the staff is at 18. 
So, so 23. Yep. So 23 total. Okay. So I think my highest was a 21. Um, so yeah. So you, you kind of channel this shield energy. Clunk, clunk, clunk. Like they just, the, the, the weapons come down and, and they just kind of, they're, they're, they're ineffective. But they're essentially one foot in, one foot out. They're right there at the, the edge of reality um, kind of mm-hmm. looking at you. And there's, there's definitely guys coming behind. There's, there's more coming. Um, I'm just, you know, I just kind of give the, the staff a twirl and I do the whole Neo thing. Yeah. <laughs> what? So there's like, you know, 20, 30, 50, depending on how far you look, lots of red caps. The one guy that like makes you kind of wonder is the guy that grabs the red cap and kind of smashes his head real quick as a club and he's like dragging him forward as he's just big, the big guy that's like, doesn't look so nice. Guys, we got another big one coming. <sighs> Okay. He's big. Okay. Dwayne? Rye. Uh, it is, is it Dwayne? Dwayne. It's, it's not. I wish it was Dwayne. It's not Dwayne. <laughs> it's, it's Dwayne's sister, Wayne. <laughs> hey, Artie, I have, a, I have a question. What would happen if I fed a certain bow a certain powder? And by bow, I mean my pet bat. Anything's possible in the mystical land of D&D. Who knows? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Make him grow okay. big, put him in the fight. Uh, all right, so right, it's, it's your my turn. turn, right? It's your turn, yes. So where is the Macedon? He is, uh, you know, 15 feet away from you. Okay, so I'm going to dart underneath him. And he's as prone. I dart... Oh, he's prone. Which means you get advantage on attacks on him. Okay. Well, here's what I'll do. I will dart towards him, and I will unsheath my flame tongue. Kill him! Because the voice is just... Snort the pixie dust. Wait, 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 wait. Here, here. As, as he unsheets his, uh, the flame tongue, he throws the pixie dime bag in the air, slashes it, and runs through the powder, snorting it. Oh, my God. <laughs> and it also hits the flame tongue. Let's keep that in mind. Yeah, it hits... <laughs> and it, it, uh, my it, children, my beautiful children. <laughs> So the dust starts to burn like um, nice, nice, like purple. And as he like emerged through the dust, he um, grows bigger and bigger with the slash going straight for the side of the master. Okay. All right. Let's see if this hits. Ooh. Let's see what happens after that powder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's disappointing. Four. <laughs> Four to hit? No. With advantage? Uh, um, I didn't do advantage. Let me roll again. Seventeen. You got a lot of rolls. Okay, you're gonna hit. Okay, seventeen. All right. When, when, and can you roll your damage? Okay. Um, let's see. Do you remember what you have with this crazy sword? Yes, five d six. That is a lot. Oh my gosh. Uh, twenty-two. Twenty twenty-two damage. Yeah. Awesome. Twenty-two damage plus five. And this thing isn't even also like twenty-seven damage. All right, yeah. so here's what the pixie dust does. Um, it definitely empowers your attack. So you you sink into it and you do another d6. Sorry, it's plus eight. Sorry, I said for plus five, but it's plus eight. So 29 total? Yeah. Okay. Um, so you do 29 points of damage. You sink your blade into this thing. Um, it, uh, oh, Alric. Um <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm just realizing today is a good day to die. <laughs> you, know, you do it. You do a bunch of damage to him. However, the the fire damage he's resistant to it, so it's not doing as much on that on that specific side of it. You're still plunging a freaking sword into him, so don't worry there. Yeah. Um. But um. What was I gonna say? Um. So you 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 plunge it into its side and it wails. Uh, with that kind of electric yellow eyes as it looks at you as it's getting up with this, just this malintent as it's starting to try to get up. Um, the pixie dust. Here, here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to roll d d20. On an odd, it's going to add health to you. On an even, it's going to subtract health from you. You're at two, two hit points. Your decision might have just put you unconscious. Let's see what happens. Oh, Odd, odd oh. for add, even for subtract. It's going to be a D4. DM, be, be, be kind. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to just let the dice aside. Looks like we're going to let see. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here, look. I have, I have a camera I can move. The D4 is the health. 
the the odd or even is you want odd. Oop. That's eighteen, right? Yep. You lost oh, well, one hit point. Okay. 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 <laughs> You're so not you just, unconscious. You breathe it in. You're like, yes, but your face is kind of starting to just bleed from like where the pixie dust hit it. It's like raw, you know, raw right. skin and you know, flesh well, showing underneath. Today's a good day to die. I already <laughs> accepted that. Maybe I won't feed my bat that. Day. But, but you did an extra d10 of damage, which I'm about to add for you. Four more from the pixie dust. So yeah. Uh... All right. There's that. I, I just want to know what's weird in Vertala's perception on this. Just, just, Horrifying. <laughs> he just like rides there smiling, bleeding from every side of his cheeks. Weasel's terrified of Ryman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Terrified. So you have as a rogue, you have your bonus action to disengage or do something else. Do you want to do anything else to um not die? He also has a second attack, doesn't he? No, not as a rogue. No. His no, extra no. thing is to do something else in combat, like it, like dodge or disengage or whatever. Mm, can I hold that action? Hide. No. You gotta decide what you're doing. <laughs> then, then I'll disengage. Okay. So you're you're kinda getting as far as you can out of danger or maybe flanking past him or something? Flanking past him. Okay. Cool. Um sounds good. Uh that was just the D and D version of a drive by. You did. Yeah. Oh, I can. I guess I can fix our names. Oh, are you not on video anymore? I'm sorry. Our name plates have been jacked up for a little while, guys. Let me fix that. Did Who's Weasel get her turn after Wang? Mm. Yes. Right. Yeah. Because I think that's yeah. When you we did got the huge, round. the huge devastation. That blow. was when I. I thought that was yeah. the last round. No, no, I don't think so. Okay. First right, round, you sorry. charged in. Because I'm still thinking about round. don't mind to do ignore me. Phone. We've had two. <laughs> if I, you've had two actions so far. You charged in the first time. The second okay. time, you freaking blew them up. Cool. Um, cool. cool. And uh, it is Vertala's turn. Okay, so I obviously need to not be pulled into lava because, like, that's not great. So I think it's time to use my javelin to try to remove that from you can even angle. use like you can use a but weapon like, you're, yeah. you can use a big weapon like you can use whatever you got like whatever you're best with you also have advantage on strength check because you're huge you can just I move do. away you could yeah you could that's true. Shake it off. So, so yeah your options are you could like uh oh go ahead and roll your advantage to see if you he actually yeah. pulled you down because you're very strong right now he might not have actually succeeded he had a 17 uh, he had a 17 mm-hmm Unfortunately, I rolled a sixteen. Okay, well, before so you rolled a sixteen, before plus three for strength, plus yep, which have plus, plus your athletics, four. which yep, is probably yep. really good for you. Which is three, so yeah, we're okay. Yeah, okay, so yeah. you beat him. So you flung him off. This is Yay, it's a moot point. Beautiful. Not yeah. a problem. It's awesome. So, There's still uh, more of them coming up there, but um, our, right now you're free. Big, big buddy is prone. Big still? buddy is is prone. Like you're like eye to eye, to eye with him. You're kind of prone to. <laughs> Can I uh, reach legs to remove them? Uh, yeah, mm. I mean, you can like oh, yeah. get up and then just start coming okay. down on them. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. hack at those legs with that battle axe. Disembodying okay. this thing. Disembodying. So you're, you're kind of near his face. Hunter. He's got like the big firearm and he's got the like weaker one. Are you going for kind of the weaker one to see if you can chop something off? I mean, yeah, I want okay. a trophy. <laughs> So, <laughs> uh, logic. Okay. Twenty. Your 21 to hit. That hits. Okay. I have, Walks I have, out. I have a number in my mind, and if you beat that number, you've hacked it off. All right. Walks out. Look what Hold I did, on. mom. I have all the things to roll. <laughs> you rolled with advantage, right? Because he is prone. Yes. Okay. Another hundred coming your way. She didn't crit yet. Hold on. Us two. That that hit that uh Weasel did, that was that was orange damage, Steven. That was that was she hit the monster yeah. spot right there. Was, yep, yep. That so was the crit the spot. spot. Yeah, that was yep. a crit spot. That was like the back of the near gigante right yeah, on the yeah, wings, yeah. you know, like yeah. 
She 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 cool. should have chopped something off with that. <laughs> she that saved a fun. lot of damage from getting to you guys. A lot. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, because I fucked that attack. Yeah. That's a twenty-two. 22. Some lower lower rolls in there. <clears throat> and some higher. Goodness. So good. Uh twenty-two damage. Nice. Yeah. Uh, you added your smite in there? Yes, yes, Which is yes, 2D8. I did. So here's the yes. way your smites are gonna work. You get you get two D eight free. Just because your ancestors are just chopping in there with you. If you want to use any more of your smites, you can. You can just, just like a smite normally works okay. for every spell level you use, you just add more d8s to that. So I'm going to go ahead and add one more, I think. Okay. Well, that she was really not very helpful. That, that, that puts me at 24. 24? So okay. You got one more attack. Got to use, yep. And then... Okay, I'm Second gonna just tell attack. you the number so you can be stressed okay. about hitting it. It was 50. So if you get 26 more, arm's gone. Okay. Okay. And then second attack would be 16 to hit. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. Beautiful. And then, sorry, all the things wrong. Get that arm. <laughs> get that arm. <laughs> Ooh, that's a 21 to my 30. That puts me at 51. What, what about your smites? Wait. You got more smites, right? I have... Okay, I have two more smites. I can... I can, I can keep smiting. Just do them all. Just do it. Did, you just say you were already at, did you just say you were already at 51, though? No. She was at 24 no. plus Total. like 21. Yeah. Oh, okay. How many more smites did you okay. add? Six. Uh, two. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait, if, if you're and above 50 what, what? total, you've done it. No, she had 24 and 21 before okay. these smites. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So it puts me at 62 total. Yeah. Oh. All right. I got an arm. What does this look like as you hack this arm? That's a big trophy. Team? We're so powerful. That's a big trophy. Um, so I think with each hack, we're going to hear the bones crunching oh. as it separates. Because I'm not separating it neatly. Really no. off the shoulder. We're we're going like mm. here, some bicep action. In um, my mind, she's singing the song as she's doing it. Like, like they're working. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm singing. She's like entranced with it. And uh, I, I pull sacred the act. arm off as it's still hanging on a little bit, and you hear a crunch oh. as I put it on. And then she puts face. away the bat, the axe, starts hitting with the arm. Set. Yep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh. So, now Just let me know if you want to keep it in the bag of holding. <laughs> I, I feel like somehow along the line, that arm will be fused with the battle axe in some way. <laughs> I mean, definitely a good option for future. Awesome. So have the arm hold the battle axe and she'll swing the arm. Vertala! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just like a monster arm sheath for the battle axe. I, at, at this point, uh, I mean, the creature's totally i mean it's hurting bad and it's it's starting to look like that that cornered rat it's starting to not be it it's still ferocious but it looks desperate it's moving faster it's flailing it looks freaking nuts it's scary its eyes are big and it is just looking for something to desperately cling to and uh and defend its turf um anything else in your turn I think I'm good. I'm feeling yeah. good about my arm. Uh, I'm feeling good about what you did too. It was pretty amazing. Um, Total bottom, it's your turn. Okay, so I am going to shape a shatter and knock people away from the gate. The um, the gate from the where the the army is marching back in. Right, base turn. Uh, yeah. Okay. Trying to ahead. give give uh, some room. Yeah, go ahead and give your damage. Okay, I can't do Tides of Chaos in that, right? Because it's an area spell. Tides of Chaos is the advantage thing? That's the advantage thing that does the magic surge. Yeah, I'll do it. Sure. All right. I just want to do the magic surge. It'd be fun. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Tides of Chaos. Uh, Tides of Chaos and... Is Twiddle next to me? I'm behind you, yeah. I remember I... Uh, That's I missed right. Yep. I guess you're back. Which might not be a good thing. He might get a fireball at his feet right now. I mean... 
Well, no, it's shaped, right? It's been random. No, you said Tides of Chaos, though. Oh, right. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm with you all the way, man. Okay. All right. So, what, 3D8? No, 4D8. No, wait. Shatter 3D8. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, I'm going to roll your D100 for you. For your Tides of Chaos. Okay, let's do a third level Shatter, because this is a big Ooh, boss fight. So that's okay. 4d8. Uh, boot. 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 Oh, if you could see my phone, 6788. Eight. <laughs> uh, 16 plus... I can't do that math with my calculator. Uh, 16 plus 7 plus 8 plus 8. 29 damage. Okay. Um, so similar to the other rift that you were near, the, the spell just erupts even larger than you expect it to. Um, there's a very, very loud kind of deafening you know shattering noise that you hear from that side of the chasm and it is uh, it's just completely decimated the 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 doorway is in complete rubble like you were hoping to kind of make it hard to pass there's no more doorway uh, <laughs> uh so um good job uh, everyone's deafened for a whole round including the guy your your ears are all ringing so doorway i thought i was trying to clear people away from the gate Okay, so there's there's three entrances to the room. There's a place where you came in. Yeah. Um, there's the the tunnel to the left that I was assuming you were aiming at, which is where the red cats yeah. were coming back from. And then there's the yeah. the portal. The portal, which the portal. I, I probably should not have used the word doorway. That's the size of it, but it's just a rift in the middle of the room. There's no, it's not a back against something. So right. you're just a tear. It's a tear. Yeah. Right, so th this is my thought process. I'm on the other side of the bri of, of, of the ridge. They can't get me anyway. The guys who can get me are the red caps. They're gonna. Stay. The most important thing is closing the portal, right? Yeah. And so I'm trying to clear around the portal to give Wang two space. That's sort of the thought process. Clear around the portal to give. So you, like you it's, were. It's a zone, were... right? I'm shattering area. I'm, I'm like shattering the ground around the rift on the other side to knock people back. Ah, so you're kind of like trying to make it really difficult to rain and kind of like blow them up, that kind of thing. Right. Ah, okay. There's a portal. Got it, got it, got it. So you're kind of shattering upward from the ground sort of thing. Because it's, it's like it's a field. That's a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. If only it was a cave, then you, <laughs> then you really... Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, definitely. So uh, I take back what I said, but it is still very effective. Um, it's still kind of... You know, you get an eruption. You you see the red caps kind of flying around. One of them kind of skids in and like lands at your feet because you kind of like exploded them forward. You're like, yeah, he's dead. Um, and, uh, and it's kind of like <laughs> That's difficult really to land on that. Bottom thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, it's all it's all kind of blown up on the other side. They have to crawl over this you know rough stuff to get to the portal. So um, good job. It looks like you what took happened? out about six or eight of them. What? Right. What happened? I want to know. D100. <laughs> Oh, 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 okay, 88. Let's see what it is. I don't know yet. It's like my fix. I gotta have my, my, my... Every, every, every game, I gotta at least have one of these things. <laughs> you cast fly <laughs> on a random creature within 60 feet of you. Okay. Oh, nice. So, uh, it's gonna be... One, one through six, it's gonna be... St st oh, hold on. We got, we got Steven, Tabby, Juliet... Uh, it's a two. Okay, so it's Tabby. So you're large oh. and flying. <laughs> With a bloody arm. And a, and a bloody arm. You're going to have so many trophies. <laughs> the, the dwarves are all floating with you. There's just... Oh, great. They're not floating. They're flying. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I can fly. I can fly. Now she's just like an avenging angel. Just, uh, yeah. Fucking wild. Instead of thinking happy thoughts, they're thinking like bloody thoughts. <laughs> All right. Very I nice. want another arm. Um, anything else movement wise, young girl? Um, so I guess I'm stepping away from the. I guess uh, how far? I guess how big is the area we're in? So they have the rift. There's Wang in front of the rift. Yep. And then and how, you got, how far you got a good like 15 to 20 feet on either side of you in, in any direction before you hit a wall or the magma. I'll just stay there then. I'm okay. good. Okay. Um, 
It is uh, Big Bad's turn. Like, there's no place to hide, right? It's like an open field, so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you could kind of get saying. into, like, a wall, kind of crevice area if you want, but it's... Nah. Yeah. <clears throat> mad okay. at do this. Uh, big, hmm, who has made the Big Bad the most angry in the last... Oh, def- definitely Dwarf Flying Dwarf Lady. Um, <laughs> I was about to say, the one who took the arm off. <laughs> yeah. So this... This beast is just desperately looking around, and he and he kind of looks, you know, he's he's just, just um, and he is just attacking you. Wow, these are all reckless <laughs> attacks, so he's going to have advantage on all of them, which means you all have advantage on him. But he's attacking a shit ton. Uh, please hold. Weasel still on him. She uh, if you want to be, you'll, you'll take an athletics check to stay, but he is getting up. I'll try to stay. I'll try to stay. Okay, first attack. Ooh, I rolled a five and a two. That's good. That's good for you. Who? Yeah, I don't get a, a, an attack on him, right? Second, no. Second attack. Uh, he rolls a total of 20. What's your AC? For Tala? Sorry, it is 18. Is that still accurate? Yes. Should be? Yes. That and is the, accurate. The last one is a 21. So two of these are going to hit you. Um, okay. So, um, great. <laughs> yeah, so he, he takes this, this big kind of tree trunk limb and, and his first attack, he just grabs you as you're in the air. Um, and he kind of looks at you and with the second attack, he flings you to the far side of the room. Boom, your back hits like you, you fly past Wang, you hit the wall, stalagmites fall, uh, stalactites fall, stalagmites are on the floor. And um, you take 25 damage. Oh, I'm dead. Oh. oh. She passed out. She oh. passed out. Yeah. Somebody might have you. That is not good. But He's pissed. He's pissed. He's almost dead. He's pissed. He's taking people out. I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn. Uh, you do have a potion on you, right? No. We use those. Oh. Those are gone. Okay. That's right. You're not we'll dead, dead. You're dying. You're not dead, dead. <laughs> You'll, you'll I start seem to checks. lay on hands, but that doesn't really help me, does it? Yeah, no, it doesn't. <laughs> it only helps if you guys go down. Um, if we all sing that song. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the the little dude, the little magma guy, is kind of crawling up and attacking uh, the closest one there, which is uh, Weasel. Uh, he's got a total of twenty to hit. Um, yeah, that, that's that's gonna hit. Okay. Um, How, so, he, I'm still on the thing. Is that? Uh, oh, I have I'm to roll gonna, athletics to stay on the thing, don't I? You did. Yes, please do. I rolled a fourteen plus my athletics is plus seven. So yeah, so, so you're on him. So yeah. um, he. He does. He does kind of hit you. He doesn't hit you for very much. It's like you take D four damage. Let me roll out what that is. Um, but he's just he's just trying to grab you. Um, so yeah. you take two fire damage, um, okay. but you're gonna want to make a second athletics check because he's, he's trying to pull you into lava. Okay. Uh, that was a natural sixteen plus seven is twenty three. Okay, I rolled a twenty one, so you rolled really well. He does not pull you off. Um, good job. And um, so at this point, oh. one more wave of red caps would have made it through the portal, but when you see them starting to kind of climb. Uh, up and about and um have we done your second attempt we did we did your second attempt on this portal mm-hmm. okay we are back at the bottom of the round um it's been 12 excellent seconds let's see what happens in the next six seconds mm. wang it's your turn all right uh i'm gonna go back to try to uh first i just i just look at twitter bottom and i smile and i'm like just thank you and then uh i go back and i continue working on the the portal um. So I need to roll for that. Yes. So remember, you can decide whether you're focusing your energy evenly between your physical and, and spiritual self, or if you're going to focus more on one. Right now, it's just focused on the uh, on the all on on the on, on the closing the portal. Yeah. All right, go ahead and make that same roll with uh, advantage. Okay. I'll take the first one, which was an 18. <laughs> okay. Um, Plus. So I guess I'll, I'll describe how it looks in case I get the extra. Um, so this time, um, he kind of, uh, again, he takes the staff, he puts it down, 
and he's kind of doing the same uh, circular motions, but this time it's a little bit more uh, stiff. It's not as fluid, and he's he's doing more very jagged, very stiff-armed, and very uh, heavy-legged, kind of like horse stance. You could hear the, the ground, like him slamming on the ground every time he takes a step. Um, and then at the end of it, he's directly, like, the staff is behind him. He's in front of the portal. This is going to be really cheesy, but anybody who's ever seen The Last Dragon, he kind of does that arm thing where you see the arms, like, you know, like he's glowing a bit, and his arms are, like, glowing, going in slow motion. And uh, he kind of does like one horse stance and then kind of uh, uh, like a Buddhist palm and just sends out a, br- a burst of key at the uh, at the gate portal. That's awesome. Yeah, let's give it the, the, the plus two. And I, I know with your other proficiency modifiers, I know you're going to hit it. Um, so really nice. All the while, while this is happening, you know, you're feeling the push and the pull of this kind of erratic um, event that's happening here. And... At the end of your hoss stance, and you 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 push out, you feel a kind of an eruption of energy come out of you. It is perhaps one of the most intense feelings you've ever had. Like you you push out, the energy flows out from out of you. You fall to your knees. You're you're literally you're vomiting. You're just your your whole body has just lost control. You're you're prone for a moment. You you get up. You're you're kind of wiping, and you can see the um the 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 rift kind of fading now um but this is just it's it's very tiring and you're feeling like it's it's getting there it's getting there and you think back to the to the to the monks you're feeling the fatigue now and you're like if i do that again i don't know what's gonna happen i might not make it okay okay um what is your um, what is your constitution at? My constitution. Yep. It's a fifteen. Um, you take six points of temporary constitution damage. Okay. Your constitution is at nine. Okay. You ain't feeling too hot. Okay, so um, we are past Wang. Uh, are you doing anything? You're just you're just waiting. Otherwise. For on the, on the physical side, right? Mm-hmm. Weasel, you're on his back. Okay. You you were talking um, about the actual Constitution score, right? Score, like, yes. Okay. Does does Weasel have any sense of how damaged this thing is? I mean, it's obviously fucked up. It's fucked up and desperate. It's like a cornered beast. Fucked up and desperate. Okay, she's gonna uh, attack it again. Okay. Um, still in a frenzy, has advantage on attack because it was reckless last time. Yeah. She's gonna she's gonna do three attacks. She's gonna do her regular attack, and then she's also gonna do an attack as a bonus action. So how do you get the third? How many? What? How do you get the third? Uh, when I'm in a frenzy, you can make a single melee weapon attack as a bonus action. Got it. Yep. Okay. So three attacks. Holy crap! That's a nineteen on the first one. Oh. Plus. Are you recklessly doing 10. all these? Um, no, because it already she has... She doesn't need to, yeah. It already has disadvantage. Wait, because you're controlling the... It was reckless on its the... turn. Oh, yes, that's it true. It was that's reckless true. on its it, turn. That's true. So I have... I'm going to roll six times. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to take Just roll them in pairs, yeah. Well, no, no, no. Yep. Roll them in pairs. Roll them in pairs. Okay, so the first pair is a 15 and a 17. Yeah, okay. Second pair is... <laughs> A one and a seventeen. Okay, you like seventeens, got it. And the third pair is a thirteen and a fourteen, and that's plus. All of those are plus ten. <laughs> yeah, hit three times. <laughs> so I hit three times. Great. So I'm gonna roll three d twelves. Um, that's a twenty-one total, but I get plus. four. Four on each of those, so plus 20, 21 plus 12 is 33. Yeah, that's 33. 33 total? Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Um, you come down on them again, and you're starting to see um, that that opening that he was using for that kind of that, that charged weapon. You've just been coming down so much on his back that it's starting to 
to, to show. You're starting to just dig down and just you're just slamming him over and over again in his spine. And he's just he's looking real bad. He, but by your third attack, he's actually he's down on a knee and he's and he's just panting. He's he's not okay. dead yet, but he is panting. Um, he, he actually um, looks like he's crawling towards the magma to get away. Um, sorry, go ahead. Okay, uh, so then with my movement, I'm going to fling myself off over its head and stand between it and Vertala. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, she's far side. She, she's like across I'm, the river. Like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Can I run across to her? Yeah, definitely. Okay, I'm going to run across her and like stand over her okay. um, so that like I'm ready if anything comes near her. Okay, awesome. Um, and it is, uh, the, the layer. Oh, fuck. I, that means I disengage. So I don't know what that means. But. He is totally not. Well, okay. let's see. Uh, yeah, you didn't have a disengage. So you can dismount him and be right there. If you want to try to protect Vitali, you'll, you'll just have to risk him swiping at you. I'll take it. Okay. Uh, yeah, he just, he just swings and misses wide. He doesn't even come close. Great. Um, <clears throat> but you feel the heat of him as he kind of just passes you with his magma hand. Okay, um, it is time for the lair effects. So uh, he is going to um, be crawling kind of towards the the lava. Uh, there are a few more of these kind of creatures that have crawled out that are going to take some more attacks at you, Weasel. I got uh, one of them's a twenty-one, one of them's a fifteen. I'm assuming the twenty-one's gonna hit. hit. Those are both gonna hit. My AC is fourteen. Okay, cool. So it's uh, five points of fire damage, but we're gonna take two athletics checks as they're gonna try to drag in. Okay. All right. My two are thirteen and eight. Thirteen is pretty easy. Um, I rolled a six and a four. Oh. Well, I have plus seven on both of those. But I rolled a six and a four. Uh, Thirteen and eleven. Ten. Yeah. Um. So one of them does have you. So you are being kind of drugged down. You're not emerged, but I mean, he, he, he got you, and he's kind of just like your your foot has just kissed it just a little bit. You take another okay. uh, six points of damage as it's just okay. so hot. It's not the heat, but it's the fact that it like it it just like goops onto you as it's just yeah. there's just molten rock uh, on your foot. Okay. You're like you're like grabbing to the top. He's just pulling you down on the rocks. All right. Um, uh, and lastly. Uh, the there are are kind of just the first two only red caps have just made it into the doorway there's seems like there's more coming behind them from the from the natural cave side and uh wang on your side uh we are going to see another wave of red caps come through at this point um so because of all the rocks and everything it's very hard for them to get to you um two of them are going to make attacks on you and you can see the big ogre guy he's close okay uh, I grab onto my staff and I activate it again to give myself another shield. I got like eight charges left on that staff. <laughs> okay. All right. So I got a 17 and a 19. Mm -mm. They both hit? No, they both miss. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Because my... Um, my natural is 18, and then we said it was like plus five or yeah. something like that from the shield. That's what the shield spell does. Okay, awesome. And you, yep. So um, they're they're right there. Um, Rye, Mr. Rye. Yep. Um, so holding on, you're you're feeling about as bad as this beast is. So you just hear Rye panting heavily as he's like trying to get a hold of himself but like inside the sword is just speaking to him you must survive kill kill and he's he suddenly just goes into this eerie calm and mm. takes the flaming tongue sword and points it directly at the beast uh he then goes into you know like what's the pose it's 
it's kind of like a come and get me kind of pose mm -hmm. with like the sword. Yeah. Uh, like in the, like the airbender, you know, Sokka's teacher, like mm -hmm. the sword master. Yeah. And he just pulls it to this chest and darts at the beast. Right. Yeah. And as he darts, he moves so quickly that with one like thrust, the the flames quickly turn into like electricity because Ooh. it's just moving so quickly. Nice. And he, he strikes and tries to pierce the side. Awesome. Um, let's see if that hits, right? Yeah. Because my man just oh. turned into Zuko. Yeah, <laughs> that was that was awesome. Um, Go ahead and take advantage on your attack for your awesome uh, description. Well, he already has advantage, but Why? <laughs> take another advantage, I guess. Because the guy. So that's 15. Oh, yeah, because he's reckless. Yeah. Yeah. 15. And let's try one more time. 15. Hits. 10. Yeah. So it hits. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay, so 5d6. Uh, that's a 9. And plus 8. Okay. Um, yeah. 9 plus 8? Yeah. So what is that? 17? Okay. Suspense is killing me. I need some math here. Um, Silence so is math. <laughs> <laughs> he is so close. Like he, he is he is limping away like just, a wounded just, animal. Just poking. trying, just trying to get to that magma. Um, he almost, we should not let I'm him gonna, lose that I'm magma. Gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill the steel. Steel kill. <laughs> What's that called? Oh, you yeah, gotta you roll know, your d twenty magic missile him for the last little plink. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Wait, you just do like a flick, pink. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, Rye, anything? Any other actions? Um. Well, we should not let him reach that magma. I can't do another attack, right? I only can have like I only have my bonus action. Um. Yeah, I, I no no other action. Okay, cool. I, I think you can take a dodge for free. That will give you a lot more defense. So, um, yeah, I'll do a hide action. Yeah, well, not well, a hide. Got to roll your d twenty to see if you get an even or an odd to see if the pixie dust kills him or. Yeah, let's see what it does. All right. Damn, damn you, Makes young. Even, <laughs> even more crazy, weird fey boy. All right. All right. Here, here we go. All right. Let's see if I die because of this. Well. All right, you want odd, right? Yep. Seven. Where's my dice? Anyway, it's seventeen. I can't get the angle right. <laughs> you get, you get two hit points. <laughs> <laughs> Your face is starting to mold back together. <laughs> All right, I'm oh, three. your crazy shenanigans almost killed you. <laughs> God. All right. <laughs> Oh god, this fight! All right, uh, it, whose turn is it? It's it's, it, it's, it's your turn. It's your turn. Vertala. Vertala needs Vertala. to make a death save. All right. Uh, I mean, so you it's your first that, time rolling death slaves. Yeah, so it is. Roll but I go I googled. You googled. Um, <laughs> welcome. Googled. I just wanted to welcome you through this, through this rite of Thanks. passage. Thanks. Uh, I I got a six, so. Wait, can I give her an inspiration point? I nope. have one. Nope, sir. Not for this. Guess what guess what you're experiencing right now? Like mm -hmm. you hit the wall, you like it's just blackness and you're starting to hear it. It's really far away, but you're starting to hear <laughs> mm -hmm. They're calling you home. <laughs> All right. Uh oh. She just got a trophy, man. I know. Twiddlebottom. It's your turn. All right. You got so some monsters am... climbing through the portal. You got some monsters climbing out of the lava. You got some monsters climbing in through the doorway. 
and Vertala just died, and this guy's the big guy's about to die. Okay, so I'm gonna do a twin. Uh, how does quicken spell work? I cast like a regular spell, then I can cast a cantrip. Uh, I think quicken lets you cast a spell as a. Um, we can look it up. As oh, she still has two more death saves, doesn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You said she just died. You scared me for a second. No, I was like, wait a minute. She's starting to experience the call, the the, the sweet embrace of her ancestors. Damage while she's down. Mm -hmm. That's how you get fucked. Like you know, AOEs from crazy monsters doing things. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm looking it up. You're looking up AoEs from Crazy Monsters? Great. Oh, I had those ready for you. Trust me. No, <laughs> I'm looking up quick and... Uh, already... Like a whole 25 folders in his, in his computer just you dedicated to AoE. You can't kill Vertala. Or, or is that twin spell? Is that what, I, one of those? There was, there was not going to be a boss fight without real risk of death. I, I'm telling yeah. you now. I know and I respect it. All right, uh, yeah, quick and spell. You spend two sorcery points. Uh, the the spell that would have taken an action takes a bonus action, so you can cast two spells. All right, so I will cast catapult. I'm gonna pick up the skull of the red uh, pick up the the skull of the red cap that fell the next one or its severed head. I'm gonna adjust the helmet a little bit, point it at, point at the big bad, and go boom. Oh, God. <laughs> Why not use the whole the whole red cap? Just shoot the whole guy. Uh, I only got five pounds. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Uh, and how much does catapult do? Three d eight. Three d eight. It's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, but 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 seven three four fourteen. Fourteen. Um. He is very 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 low like he's slumping down try to make it down into this magma he's not quite dead yet you have one we have All one right. more spell though so actually i'm going to cast a cantrip and use my bracers for a second cantrip uh, doesn't right it take side. a bonus action to use that bracer does it i don't remember your moving view is like mesmerizing me tabby Sorry. it's cool Sorry. no it's like <laughs> i love when when we were talking about you hearing the song I just hear Willy and slash or Waylon. It's Willy. Willy wanted see. treats. So that's why I had to stand. Screen cap. Illusionist bracers. As a bonus action, you're right. So I can only cast it one time, right? All right. Yeah, so then I will. The quicken and the, and the bracers. Darn it, because I was going to save Atasha's hideous laughter for the big guy. But all right, we'll do it again. Another catapult? That didn't work. Yeah, so then I'm gonna go. Hmm. I'm gonna pick up his hand, make a middle finger out of it, and catapult that of the guy. Oh, this is probably gonna kill him. Better kill him. Uh, Not just twiddle. Seven, four, four, fifteen. Fifteen to hit. Yeah, oh, fifteen damage. damage. Uh, what? What say? How does he save against this? I don't know, actually. <laughs> uh, he doesn't. Yeah, is it, let's just he say he make doesn't. An attack roll? Because we didn't. Doesn't actually person. say. Let's see. Uh, let me see. It's a good just question. an automatic hit. No, I don't think so, right? But it's like, uh, oh, God, maybe it's a dexterity save? Let me see. Catapult. If it impacts all the surface of the strike creature, it must be dexterity save. Okay. And what's your save? And DC 16. Okay. For half or, or for zero damage? Uh. He fails in both. Don't worry about it. Through. All right. It'd be zero damage if he saved. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's not very dexterous right now. He's not very dexterous in general, but he's definitely not dexterous right now. Um, Twiddle, how do you want to do this? So like I said, I got the hand of the red cap. Make a middle finger out of it. Point at the guy. Catapult it into his eye, through his brain, and he dies. Oh, awesome. That was that was beautiful. Yeah. Or so just stunning. His head kind of lops off, and he finally, like his body finally makes it into the magma, just without his head. <laughs> <laughs> and this, yeah, this big beast, it's just, it's dying and sizzling away, and it's just quiet for just a moment. You're like, 
did we do it? And then, like, you remember and you hear it and you hear the, like, ah! Because the red caps are definitely still, like, running at you guys. So, uh, cool. there's still some stuff going on. Uh, Big Bad is dead. Yeah. Good job. And it was about to be his turn. All right. Uh, Not anymore. Wang, it is your turn. You feel... All right. It's a somehow strange, deep emotion. You feel elated and terrified at the same time as you center yourself. So Wang kind of takes a minute. He looks around and, and sees everything going on. He, um, again, puts his staff back, kind of just takes a minute and smiles. He looks back at the portal and he's thinking about the old katas, but then he has a vision of Razaga training and it was something Razaga made Wang try to do, but Wang could never get, uh, get right. And it was one of the most important katas and one of the most beautiful where Razaga would be in a horse stance from the horse stance. He would do one of those kicks where you, you, you know, you kick your, the palm of your hand, mm -hmm. he would jump into a, a tornado spin land and then do the double fist. So, Wang, for some reason, he like goes blank. He sees this happening. Then when Razaga is done, he turns and smiles at Wang. When Wang sees that, he turns and smiles at Weasel, looks back at the portal. And again, he repeats, um, Razaga Bahota. And I sent you a message of what that means. Um, and uh, no, it's just Artie. Only Artie sees that message. <laughs> um, and uh, Wang takes off his shirt he starts to do that position and when he gets into the horse stance you see the key kind of change and it's actually going through his veins so his veins start to glow uh, with crimson and red and he's going through the moves and with each move it's just boof, boof, just key coming out of him and then when he does the double uh, fish strike at the end actually when he's doing the tornado kick, it starts to swirl, and you don't see Wang anymore. You just see like a vortex of key, blue and red. Wang lands. You hear the boof from when he lands, and when he does the double fist, it just all goes up into his fist and comes out in one shot into the portal. Amazing. Absolutely. Take a plus 10. <laughs> Roll your die. You better not damn fail this. If it, it just lie not. to me. I'm telling you as you DM. <laughs> if you roll like a two, just lie. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. And that's with advantage, right? Uh, uh, sure. Well, I got a, I got a 10, so plus your 10, that's a 20. Okay. The threshold was 20. So you oh! just made it. All right. So here's what happens. So this last bit of energy, it erupts and you, you know, Wang, you're, you're seeing it almost in, in, in slow motion as this, this, crystal just dissipates from you as the the force from your key and this crystal just just flows through you see on the other side it's almost like a like a wind that's tearing the um the enemy apart as they're just ripped to shreds before it's and the pore closes everyone is prone as they're you know the the, the energy in the room is just sucked in and Weasley, you're the one that, that, that catches it because he smiled at you and he did the final punch. And as the portal closes and then explodes back, you see Wang flying across the room and your heart just aches because you can see it as he's flying through. A limb is flying off. His face is starting to deteriorate from the magic. And there's just this this aura of energy as he just slams back into the far wall far enough that what you see is a crater in the wall that's starting to fill with magma and smoke bellowing from the hole um uh, at this point the the creatures that were crawling from the rocks they've collapsed um the, the, the red caps on the far side um, they, they, they've fallen prone and bewildered. You're, you're definitely outside, uh, of combat this time. Um, 
you, you're the the you're starting to hear the the deafening noise and the ringing from your ears clear. Um, you think you've done it. What do you guys want to do? So I guess we someone's taking care of Vitalis. I guess I will go and investigate uh, Wang. No, Weasel is not taking Brie Hall. Weasel is screaming. <laughs> okay. And running after Wang. And if you want to know what Wang said in in Mandarin, uh, um, which is kind of what the language that I base my island off of, Bahota means protect her. So I'm asking Rizaga to protect you. That's what I'm saying. No, Weasel is screaming and and running for Wang. Wang, uh, uh, um, as as the drama is ensuing. Um, Twiddle, you, um, this, this wave of, of, of energy is swirling around the room and you get another flashback like you'd been getting, um, you know, what you had been remembering from your, your fey life was you remember you were betrothed. You were, you remember you were, you were making your way over a long journey to a wedding. More and more of it starting to become clear. You remember that, um, you were a noble, but you were, a. a a lesser noble your houses were being married together in this kind of arranged marriage to to build a bigger peace between the kingdoms you remember this 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 lady that you were married to some of your your your, your brothers and sisters have been married off in similar ways but you were elated because she was a, a just a this this awesome childhood friend that you had you had fallen for when you were very young and um you were so excited to be a part of this wedding, uh, especially to someone that was so special as her because um, she had the gift. She had the gift to connect between realms. She was one of the few that could transcend uh, the Fey realm. And um, you remember the day. You remember that that's why he came. You remember that that's why Zin Ak, uh, who you're now putting the pieces together, he was the commander that was bellowing in the front of Auchendale. He was the one that was barking orders at this beast. He stands tall and proud, purple-skinned, with tall horns. He was the one that crashed in uh, and took her. He took her because with her powers, he could create these rifts. Um, and it's come back to you now, uh, now that you're, you, you've made this closer um, connection. And... Um, you know, these memories kind of come into place as, as this, this energy fades and settles and you, you kind of come back to as you're, um, you know, making, maybe, maybe, maybe now making the decision to go check out Wang. Okay. Um, I guess I said I'm going to collapse on my knees. Okay. Just kind of overwhelmed? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Uh, so... Rye, you're up, right? You're like one hit point up. Uh, two. <laughs> two, thank you very much. <laughs> well, three. He got yeah, two three. He, he had one, one, he got two, so he's at three. No, let me roll to see if the pixie dust like anticlimactically kills you after the action. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, that was. So, so, so did, did, did Wayne to fucking disintegrate into magma? Is that what happened? Well, maybe we don't know. We don't know yet, but it sure as okay. hell looked like it. Oh, my Oof. God. Okay. So okay. So what's happening right now? Ritalis, well, I mean, Ritalis, so go ahead and make a make a death save for the second uh, time, please. Okay. Sixteen. Okay. Yeah. That's that's a check mark in the good box. So you have one failed and one succeeded. You need three in either to permanently okay. do one or the other. Okay. Um, and so at this point, um, Twiddle's memories have flooded back. Rye and uh um. Uh, Rye and Weasel, you are the only ones that seem to have your wits about you at the moment. What are you guys doing? Uh, I mean, is there anything Weasel can do for Vitala? Can I stabilize her in any way? Yeah, I mean, you could make like a medicine check and just try. Oh gosh, she's so. I could make a suck. medicine check. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna run for Wing too. Like, I'm gonna run and investigate what happened. <laughs> like, is he there? Is there anything yeah. of him? Like, I mean, uh, ah. Alric, uh, Rye is like definitely the the strongest this sword has ever felt. The fact that you took help take the life force from this humongous beast, is, his sword's just blazing. It's the brightest thing in the room. Yeah. 
disadvantage for medicine check. <laughs> <laughs> Does he need to be cauterized? <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I think if Weasel was smart, she would try to stabilize Vertala, but she's, but she's not. She's not. Yeah. Okay. All right. So she's running. Can I make she, this wound bigger? <laughs> so you're you're, run, you're 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 running to see what happens to to Wang. Yes. Yeah. This is more pressing. Sorry, Vertala. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. You make it to kind of the the crater. You, you're gonna need a strength check to move the boulders and try to just see if you can get to yeah. where he is. I rolled a three. Oh. <laughs> so ten. It's it's the post it's the post battle exhaustion. You're like you're emotionally yeah. so desperate to I'm get there. I'm like, trembling. She's like trying to pull. Yeah. The, the 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 things off but she's trembling her her arms are kind of giving out she can't do it yeah she's trembling okay Ryan what are you doing I I'm trying to find my center once again mm. since I'm in this like new state of calm yeah so you want to make a wisdom like roll that. see if you make it okay let's do it because maybe I will crack into insanity once again <laughs> And I do crack into insanity once again. Oh, Nat yeah. one. Oh no! <laughs> oh. oh my god! Uh, light there in. are Tell still. You got 20. There is probably still life in those red caps in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna help I, you. Out. Oh, here he goes, killing again. I may have to log off, guys. I'm so sorry. Oh no! But it, it is late. I don't read. It is twelve thirty, and yes. I have to pack for an international trip tomorrow. Okay, and let's, leave for work at six. I'm sorry. Let's wait. Let's resolve. Let, let's just at least uh, uh, okay. uh, uh, wrap up here. Okay. It it's uh, it's trivial enough for your party members to stabilize you in the minutes that you have before you ascend to Dwarven Valhalla or wherever the road followers go. <laughs> Dwarven Valhalla. Um, we, we wind up kind of, um, Wang, you hear the echoes, Wang, you, you, you hear Weasel's voice trembling and maybe crying. I don't know, you, let me know, Weasel, but, um, calling for you <laughs> and, um, you, uh, you begin to get up and you feel just weird, um, you are you willing to just like step forward and kind of make your way back into the room? Mm -hmm. You step through the magma, doesn't hurt. What? You're standing before Weasel, and Weasel, what you see is a, a Wang with eyes that are bright orange like magma. The staff that he once wielded, he has a new one, it's char black and orange. Um, here are permanent changes to your character. You are taking six permanent hit point damage from channeling your life essence to close this okay. portal. So my, my, my hit points go down permanently six points. Yes, forever. Okay. Not, not reclaimable. Okay. Um, two of your maximum key completely gone. Cannot Ooh, get them back. The power that you used to have that we called the, the, the power of the, the sun soul or the radiant bolt mm -hmm. has been replaced with a magma fueled equivalent that is twice as strong. Oh. So take any power that is a radiant sun bolt power and for one minute, once a day, you can do t any damage that it does. It'll be fire damage and it's double for the full minute. Okay. Wow. And resistant to fire damage. Okay. And your eyes are permanently glowing orange. <laughs> All right. Wow. Look! Look at that. Does he have an, an extra scar now? That was his thing. Where every fight he got a scar. Uh, yeah. Uh, here, he, your one arm is definitely like. It looks just like. Uh, like mad magnet. burned. Yeah, like just, just it's all just pure burnt. Yeah. Fuck, I fully thought he was fucking dead. All right. So let let me let me make sure I got this all. Uh, so anything with, with radiant sunbolt, uh, once a day for a minute. Um, has fire damage. Mm-hmm. 
And what else? I will get all the details offline. I'll, I'll recap okay. with you. So, Sounds okay, good. Tabby. Um, yes. For because I know you, you you can probably drop off sooner. Um, okay. What your character uh, kind of is walking away from this with, other than like you know a hit point and being close to death. <laughs> that family heirloom weapon um, mm -hmm. has it's now glowing with kind of orange magma runes etched into the blade um and uh the, the 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 dwarven runes read the road shall lift my soul nice uh it, it is now it was a plus one weapon it is now a plus two weapon so we'll, we can work out what that means um and there's going to be other party um wrap-up stuff but that's that's the stuff that affects okay. you very directly so you can catch up with this if you need to go um, I think I'm gonna have but, to do that. Yeah. Good night, guys. Thank you. Night. This was awesome. Good night. Yay. Good night. Good night. Talk to you later. Forty one. I'm gonna fix nameplate. Hold on. Yeah, I probably need to jump off soon myself. Yeah, yeah I should also very much go to bed. Okay. So, um, would you like to know what this place has for loot? Uh, just um, tons of I'm gonna color. hop off. But recap me the loop. loop. We will we will recap the loot. Um, we found online. nothing. We just found a couple of coppers and uh, don't look my bag. Cool. When, oh, as as Wang comes out and he's in his new form and he's holding the staff in one hand, he just takes the other and brings in Weasel for a hug. Yeah. Oh, she likes him back. I feel dumb <laughs> that I didn't use the new staff. That was better storytelling. But no, it was a it's, moment it's good. It's no, she didn't. She, she didn't feel ready for it. It makes sense, right? You're you're not she like you're not ready. comfortable with it yet. Yeah, she didn't feel ready. All right, um, good night, guys. Night. Good game. All right. All right. Good night. Good night. Um, Alric, are you leaving? Yeah, I'm gonna jump off in like two minutes. Okay. So. Um, within this guy's head, there was two things. Uh, there was a, um, what I'm gonna call a, a fractured jewel of command, um, which is what he was using to command these lower level creatures. Ooh. It looks like it can be repurposed for something, but it's a little broken. I um, eat the jewel. I, I figured you would be interested in that. Um, I, and, I and there's a deck of many things. Oh! What is a deck of many things? Oh, our party's going to have so much fun. So, a deck of many things is... A, I'll let the DM say it. I'm sorry. I just got excited there. No, go ahead. Go ahead. So, the log, the, the short story, a deck of many things is a deck of cards. And you actually have... Are those the actual cards? Mm-hmm. Oh. So, they're either very good or very bad. You pull one out, and anything it says is what happens. And... Um, it's, it's things it's like either, permanently gaining levels... Yeah. Um, permanent. You could gain the wish spell multiple times, or you could literally lose your character. Like, there are multiple cards that will make you lose your character. They're like put into a pocket dimension, and you, the party can go get them. Maybe like figure out where they are in the world, but you would lose the ability to play your character for a long time. Ooh, so it's but like a gamble. It's like super good or super bad. There's 22 cards. Once you use once, they're burned. Um, you have to decide how many you're going to draw before you draw, and um, stuff happens. Ugh. And they're, they're great with a Aju dipping sauce. It's not what text message, right? Say what? They're great with, they're great with our juice dipping sauce. Yes. You saw my text message? <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's funny. All right, East Coast folks, right. I'm, thank you for staying on. I know this was longer. Grand finale. Thanks, Alric. Yeah, yeah, this is great. All right. Good that night, was, guys. Good night. That night. was freaking amazing that was that i was lost wonderful. track of time i didn't realize it was so late I, I was it was just you know i'm so pumped i'm not even tired from that <laughs> <laughs> wang was... went flying I, I in my head i was creating a new character sheet after that it was not within the impossible route like if you had failed more you might have needed to make a roll to take to not totally die mm -hmm. but um yeah and that staff came in clutch, man. That that protection, that shield spell saved me. <laughs> Mul yes, multiple times. 
All right, so uh, for the stream, uh, we're going to go ahead and sign off. Uh, thanks for staying on with us if you're with us. Um, in terms of next steps for the campaign, uh, we're going to have a couple couple one-shots. Uh, we're going to play a couple just fun games over the next couple sessions, and we'll come back with a fresh new campaign at a later date. It'll probably be uh, at least a month from now, so we'll, we'll say at least into mid-March we'll be uh, starting a new story arc. We'll probably have a little bit of downtime as characters kind of figure out their next uh, their next place they're going to be focusing on and we'll, we'll work that out with them. So awesome. Thanks so much guys. I'll, uh, signing off here. Talk to you later stream. Bye bye everybody. Good night.